The fear factor of, of MJ was so, so thick. Oh, yeah. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, I got the microphone working. You could tell today is a full moon day. Uh, I know it's a full moon day because shit just went bad uh, ever since I woke up. Uh, on the personal way, things here are good, but um, damn, uh, damn computer issues. You know, the one I've been working on, there's some, some shit where um, the RAM isn't compatible. I also backed up a drive. Put a new OS on a drive, had the old drive, wanted to put the old drive in the old shell, uh, put the new drive in the old shell, and ended up corrupting it. So that's been a, uh, an adventure today, booming all over the place. Today is Frega Boomer Day, uh, nonstop, nonstop uh, Frega Boomer Day. Let me change the color, uh, today's brand colors. Let's see what we can get in here. Um, what goes good? There's yellow yellow i like that orange orange let's do orange i think orange is good uh incredible comics black flag incredible comics black flag incredible comics let's do incredible comics that's what i'm here to talk about uh and you guys are here watching uh thank you so much uh it's friday night you are watching uh the frag boom show today is uh fragtober day two uh, it is day two. It's exciting. Uh, a lot of people put some stuff out. We had some duplicates and things like that. Uh, but uh, there there was one in there that uh, I really definitely wanted to draw. Uh, I want to say what's up to folks in the chat. We got Noble Blast in the house. We got Wise Guys Entertainment. Uh, he says, uh, Wise Guys says, I'm not sure if I'm going to be up to watch this or dead asleep. Dude, uh, catch up on your sleep, man. Uh, yeah, you are too young to be a boomer. You're only 43. Uh, I'm too young to be uh, a, a boomer as well. Uh, what up, Mark? How are you? Uh, insane dude right there. Uh, yeah, congrats to Nova Blast for getting uh, last night. Uh, I heard bird was the word, but today the bird is not the word. But today the word uh, is brought to us by uh, Lord Crackhead. He picked the, uh, the word of the day. Uh, and, uh, that's it. We got unhinged entertainment in the house. Linkovich, uh, uh, Chamofsky, is in the house. I always say it wrong, man. Sorry. Rick Saylor's in the house. What a VIP, uh, Darren Wagner, Jeremy Stoltz. Uh, you had a good one too with Lino. Uh, yeah, dude, go to bed. Wise guy. Uh, catch it on replay for sure. It's going to be a good one. What's up, Blake kick? Our uh, Jelenian, uh, how are you, my Armenian friend? It's good to see you in here. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, Marsh, what up? Complex, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Uh, Walt's in the house. We got uh, Lord Crackhead, man. Uh, Lord Crackhead 33, you picked the word of the day today, man. Um, I, I, I bet you're excited. I hope you're excited. You're the only one that really knows what it is, except for me. In a disguise says, uh, meet me, cough, 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 cough. Uh, and I need to do that. I didn't today at all. I kept it um, straight up. Like, I didn't I didn't smoke any uh, good, good chiberis. Uh, what's up, DLP? Uh, what up, comic book scrapyard? What's up, Mr. Uh, Burtz? Adam C's in the house. Um, so I'll tell you the the words uh, blah, 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 the words I got. Uh, some of the words I got today, and I'll I'll give you the uh, the big one. Where do you find the word of the day at, Danny D? Uh, you are one of the duplicates. You can't say I second that because if you second it, that means that you you can't get it. Um, I can only do the very first. The first one, and uh, you will find the word of the day when I announce it. Uh, and I'm going to announce it in the second. Alex VRB says, bird is the word. It is It is one of the words. I don't know if it is the word. Um, but this is, you find the word of the day here. Uh, and you and you go uh, in the description, you hear the, the phrase is this, draw every day in October with Frank Boom. You have a chance. 
to pick up what he draws. I need to change it to win. Pick to pick and win. There we go. So that's new. We're going to save that. That's the, the new and improved. Save changes. To pick and win what he draws. Uh, and that's it. Ooh, an error occurred. It won't let me change it. The tension, the tension. There is tension, right? Uh, we're building the building the show, building the audience. Which cover is this shirt? Um, I don't think it's a cover. I think it's an amalgamation of stuff because this was from issue one. This was from one. This was from something else. So was this. So was this. I think that was from one. I think they just uh, jumbled a bunch of uh, – jumbled the stuff up again. Oh, okay. Marshall. Fractober is this, man. Um, instead of having a prompt list that I make up or having a prompt list that uh, someone else makes up uh, that everybody else is drawing from, we're doing it based completely on audience suggestions. Um, and the way the audience – suggests it is through the format that you see in the description of this video. This is the phrase, draw every day in October with Frega Boom. You have a chance to pick up, uh, pick what he draws, and then you put the name of the channel. I pick, and then you fill in what you want, right? So if you want, you know, tanks, you want Gundam, you want, uh, you know, ass-ass titty, you say that. And uh, so you basically copy-paste that phrase. You can put it on Twitter. You can put it on YouTube. You can put it on Facebook. You can put it on Instagram. Uh, you can put it on all the social medias. As long uh, you'll see that I'm tagged in there, uh, and I will see them. So these are the ones I saw uh, going through my timeline, and this is what I got. I got uh, P E P L and apostrophes empty. Came up with precipice. Um, uh, Adornment came from Unhinged Entertainment. Artist Avenue and Danny D uh, both pick Skeletor. Jeremy Stoltz picked Lionel. Uh, somebody had picked Bruce Lee, but and it wasn't Mike Green at this time. It was someone else who had picked uh, Bruce Lee, but they uh, picked it out of format, so I couldn't go with it. Uh, Sketch Therapy picked Ass Ass Titty last night. And, of course, uh, today – our uh, our champion, who's telling me what to draw. Lord Crackhead has picked the word samurai. Now, uh, yeah, no, Artist Ab did not get it right. Artist Ab was just first. That's all, man. Uh, what up, Leroy? I'm here to enter entertain you, man. I'm here to entertain you, uh, and we're going to draw together. So we're going to um, think about samurais, right? <laughs> There's all kinds of ways to do samurai. There's uh, samurai jackrabbit. There are. Uh, there was a samurai motorcycle, I think. There, uh, there are street samurais. There are uh, cyber samurais. What up, death metal hero? Uh, there are all kinds, and in my mind, what I see. It's sort of a, a, a modernized uh, – <laughs> sorry, I'm reading the chat. There is Samurai Champloo. That's one of my favorite. There's Ronin. Uh, there's Pat Lee's Samurai character. Uh, there's a Samurai Priest. That's correct. There is a Samurai Priest. But I'm not drawing him. I'm drawing your trading card uh, individually. I couldn't draw your trading card and then give it to Lord Crackhead. That would be really weird. Uh, a historic samurai, street samurai from Shadowrun. Uh, and then there's the Frega Boom one that I make up from, uh, uh, oh, yeah, Johnny Rando with uh, Toshihiro uh, Mifune. That's true. Uh, but it won't be Halloween if it's not a spirit samurai. Afro samurai. There's that. There's that. Um yeah, see, Alex VRB says, I love me some street samurai. Um, I think I'm going to go that route. I think I'm going to go that route where it's, uh, it's, if you were to look at the silhouette, it's clearly a samurai. Uh, but, you know, I could go, I could go with, what up, Rotten Glory? It's good to see you, my friend. Um, 
thanks as always for the kind invites. Uh, Bushido Blade. Bushido Blade is uh, another good one. I used to play that game back in the day, early PlayStation 1 game. Uh, what about the best samurai, Usagi Ojimbo? That is one of the best samurais. Ghost Dog. Uh, Johnny Rando it has got a good one there in Ghost Dog. Uh, let me grab some sip of water. Um, having to restore this this uh, thing, man. Uh, Ghost Face Samurai. I like that. I like that. Um, I had this picture on my iPad and I emailed it to myself. And I wish I it, I wish it went through. It's the the iPad I have upstairs, and and I guess the mail doesn't really work on it because it's a iPad generation one. Um, but it was the weirdest thing. Uh, maybe I'll share it tomorrow if I can get that picture. It 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 was a uh, a dude. I mean, it was clearly a dude. The hand looked like a dude. It was a hand holding um, a submarine sandwich sized shit, uh, and it said. It was really hard to push, but worth the effort, something like that. And then the person was holding it with their hand. And another person uh, sub sub replied and said, uh, ew, you're actually holding your shit. And they said, uh, yeah, man, if, if yours was this big, uh, you'd hold it too. Uh, so it was a great picture. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, comic book scrapyard. Thought you might dig Samurai Champloo. Love those new Javi's beats and that smooth animation. So do I. I, I also have a favorite episode. Uh, I believe it's episode nine um, where there is a uh, really fun fight that's happening in uh, a burning wheat field. So, so great. Uh, so great. Just the way uh, everything warps out and gets uh, gets nuts and insane. How's the mic sound? Is the mic sound okay? Uh, I got it to work. I don't know what was going on. Um, my green is uh, is correct. Uh, have I ever read Blade of the Immortal? Uh, I have. Uh, that's some really good stuff. The the uh, what was it? Uh, Blood of a Thousand, something like that. I think that was the one I read. Afro Samurai is another one that I like. I like the uh, the comic, and I like the Samuel Jackson. Uh, and I also, I believe I had, uh, the Xbox game back in the day, man. Um, okay. So here's, what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to make you guys, uh, watch the damn black flag trailer one time. And I'm going to, uh, do what Danny Mickey and I used to call an attitude adjustment. You know, it's a full moon tonight. Isn't that crazy? Full fucking moon, man. Darren Wagner, you are not the only one. You are not alone. We are here with you. What's up, Mr. John? How are you, Christopher John? It's good to see you, my friend. Uh, very good to see you. Uh, Seven Samurai. Yeah, you can't go wrong with uh, Akira Kurosawa. It is 420 somewhere, uh, and that's right. It's going to be 420 here. So uh, enjoy some of this. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. I created Black Flag back in 1994. It was pure escapism. I want to draw guys with big guns. I want to draw anime babes, wizards, aliens. Cool, put them all in one book. Now allow me to reintroduce myself. Black Flag is literally wish fulfillment. High energy, high octane, 90s style action, relentless, doesn't ask for forgiveness, high bullet count. There hasn't been that in comics in the same way that I'm going to provide it. Sniper decided that he was going to go back into doing what he does best. He went and he took all of his gear, which had this shield on it with his flag, and he blacked out all the flats. He has no allegiance to anybody but himself. They're never sitting around talking in Black Flag issue one. Ragtag, they're it. Here to save our world, all of them, mystical, mystical, magical. And we are going to see so many bullets, so much action. This thing is certain to blow people's minds. 
really I've never been better The legacy live on forever Yo, Remember the legend and know that he never surrendered Because this is forever that's basically what Black Flag is all about. Let's go! Allow me to reintroduce myself. There it is, there it is, there it was. Uh yo, Marsh. Uh Marsh makes comics. You know I was in Cali, but two years ago, yesterday, uh the family and I packed up. And moved out here to Georgia. We're near the Atlanta area in a town called uh, Alpharetta. We love it. Uh, totally different, but yeah, I'm I'm on your side, bro. I'm on your side of the the, the country. Uh, all right. So uh, don't boomer it up. I won't, man. Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling uh, like I was broken, and then I got a kind of glue. To fix myself. Uh, it's called Afghan glue. And those who know, know. And if you don't know, now you know. Um, so we're going to jump into this. Let me, um, I know, uh, Sark is right. Don't boomer it up, man. Uh, don't boomer it up. And definitely go get up on uh, Tom Moira's Wizard for Hire. Uh, check out Six Gun Gorilla, The Big Gun Down. Check out Starlight Cats. Check out uh, All Drake by Wenger. Uh, you definitely want to check all those out. So let's let's hope I didn't uh, boomer this up. Let me get the camera over. What up, Rooster Puncher? It's good to see you, homie. Uh, okay, and I have that. That's that iPad, and I have the iPad stand over there. So I'm going to grab that. So here we go. Fingers crossed. There it is. So that was yesterday's. And, yes, it's very pink. Don't worry. We're going to shift the lighting over give you guys all the good the good vibes the good everything um i got this microphone here so hopefully that doesn't uh impede on the uh the uh everything else so here we go uh yeah see it's not even pulling focus so we got to make sure it does that so let's turn this light this way there we go. Better, 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 better. Best. There we go. Get there. Focus. That kind of works. I got this uh, this microphone right here, so we're going to get uh, nice and nice and intimate. How are you? Uh, and now that's too bright, so boom. That's better. That works. And then I'm going to change the, the color temperature on these lights here this will uh end up helping us out a little bit uh there we go that looks like some good samurai type colors um here we go so this was yesterday's uh drawing based off of uh nova blast suggestion of the word uh the word was elder so let me uh do this pulling focus 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 Focus. Man, fuck this is what I want to say. Uh, let's see. Let's see. That, there we go. That works a little better. And then I can bring this, bring this to here. That seems fair, right? If not, let's uh, get, ditch this lighting anyway. I'm going to ditch the lighting. See, I am booming it up. Look what you did, Sark. Boom. See that? And then I'll go to cool white. There we go. That's that is a nice color temperature uh, on this thing here. So you guys uh, go ahead and take a look at that. I'm pulling uh, pulling you guys up on this iPad. Make sure the volume's turned down. Don't want to get that all fucking. Yeah, see, it was turned all the way up. There we are. We got that. Put you guys front and center so I can see you. When I look up, I can read comments. Get this computer a little closer because the... Well, I don't need headphones right now. I'm going to take these headphones off. Uh, you guys are just going to hear me talk, uh, which is going to be weird. So, all right, we're going to go with a fresh, fresh piece of paper. Uh, I'm not sure 
yeah, get City of Rot uh, by Rooster Puncher, too. I see that. I see ya. I see ya. Uh, let me make sure I see all of the chat. I don't know why they have this. Talk chat, live chat. How about just live chat? That would be the best way to go. Otherwise, we miss things. Um, okay. So what, what do I see in my mind's eye? I see a couple of things, right? Um, and, I, and I also want to make sure that things – we can get things to be where they're teachable, right? So I could I could shoot something very similar to what I did with Elder, you know, half figure, whatever. Uh, but then there's also like making something look badass. So I can do uh, the the bird's eye looking down, or we can come a little lower looking up. Uh, and I always feel like upshots are harder. Um, but again, we're going to use the, these, uh, drawing times to teach. So you're going to see some of my technique, but I'm also going to be, uh, expanding upon the technique because, uh, I want to explain what it is that I'm doing. Hopefully that makes uh, perfect sense. This is bright enough. Ooh, now see, it got too bright. As soon as I did that, it got, uh, almost too bright. Let me back that up just a little bit. There, there we go. That's nice. Okay, so basically what you would do first out is kind of have where your horizon is. And maybe we'll say the, the horizon is at the, the knees of uh, this person. So anything below this horizon, we're going to see the top of. Anything above this horizon, we're going to basically see the underside of all the way as we go up, right? Right. We can do a force perspective on it, too, where the stuff down here is a little bigger and the stuff uh, up here is, uh, and it's off camera, up here is uh, a little smaller. So we, we almost feel like we're looking for panning up, looking at this person so we can, um, you know, not make it flat. So this is this is uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a, a low angle vanishing point up at the knees. And uh, as you look up, stuff is going to go uh, up and up and off. So almost like a, a, a uh, like a pan. If we did this in animation, it would be a pan. So if this was like one set of perspective lines, again, I don't really rule out perspective anymore. Uh, but I, I'm just showing you guys the vanishing point is up here. This vanishing point we're going to say is right here. So I'm going to show you where that is. So you can get this uh, this sort of uh, grid going on how this person would stand or where they would stand. So one of the cool tricks that I learned, if you start thinking of things in 3D and you think about uh, thinking about um, stuff as if it existed already, God damn it, uh, Alex VRB. All right, all right, all right. Uh, you got me on the bacon for a second, man. Uh, here we go. So down here you could see I lightly sketched in uh, a little perspective uh, grid. But what you can do here is if you if you treat this almost like this is where you can put one foot right? And in space, you can say the other foot is over here. So you can see that that's going to be a little bit smaller. Like, the, And when I say foot, this I'm not drawing their foot. I'm drawing where their foot would sit. So if this was an action figure stand per se, uh, that's where their, their foot would be. And then I said the vanity, this thing here is roughly around their knees or mid shin. So I would... Uh, look up like that and then I would say this is where their belt would be this is where their chest would be and if they were looking down at us uh, it would be like that so this is this is essentially what I see in my mind right so we're looking up this is the top of the chest the top of the belt uh, the top of the knee and then as we go here we're gonna start seeing instead of instead of uh, the underside we're going to start seeing top side. So 
this is where I would go, okay, this when I put his boot in here, this is where it's going to go, right? So now I, I can fill in the anatomy knowing kind of where these things are, are going to go. And you can see it looks like we're looking up the leg, right? I'm going to pull this back a little bit. And let's do this better. There we go. That'll be a little slightly easier to see the lines. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeti Mind Trick says it's a little bit hard to see the lines. They're, it's because they're lightly sketched right now. Uh, let me, if you want me to sketch them a little darker, I can do that. So, uh, and there are no lines here. So that you're, you're actually not seeing any lines because there are no lines. Uh, I'm just kind of creeping up the body. So I would see the underside of that lat up, you know, uh, the chest would come out like this, the underside of the rib cage. The stomach down to the uh, the crotch, because this is going off to here. This knee would be higher than this knee. This calf goes back, and then that foot arrives where we put that footprint. So you can see that what I did was I used. This almost like it was uh, one of those stands that you see on a action figure stand. And I put our, our camera basically at the knees. So anything, like I said, anything above the knees, we're basically looking up. So I want this guy to look sort of powerful. Uh, so if I, th th this is the other way you can kind of, um, uh, I am an expert. Arik says I'm a uh, an expert at creeping up bodies. Yeah, man. Um, there was an old uh, old saying my buddy used to say, uh, "Slither up in that fanny" was uh, what he would say, and it was one of the most disgusting uh, slogans I've ever heard. But every time we heard it, we laughed. Um, so this is what I was saying. One of the things that you can do, and I, I call it the edge piece technique. Uh, an edge piece technique is uh, like when you have a, a puzzle and you're putting a puzzle together and you, you put the edge pieces together first and those things sort of inform where things are after that. They give a, a placement. So a lot of times if you wanted, like right now I'm going to have his hand on a, a sword and you go, oh, I don't know what the proportion will be. Well, what you can do is you know that the sword's going to be here, right? And if I go, well, the way someone grabs a sword like this, how am I going to do that arm? Well, I know that if this went back and stayed in this perspective, it would go like this, which means uh, this would come up here, and then that shoulder would come down, bicep, and then you know, you fill the anatomy in like that. So we can say, hey, this is uh, a, a way to get the arm in there in perspective. Uh, I'm filling in the anatomy, but this anatomy is only there right now because uh, we're. what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a technique where uh, I'm not going to draw the details of the costume. I'm going to treat this almost like a mannequin and we're going to dress. We're going to dress this mannequin with a pen. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want his other, uh, his other arm to be doing. Oh, I know what I want him to be doing. Uh, so I would see the underside of his, his hand here. And then of course, because we're way under, we would see the, uh, the underside of the arm. Uh, there we go. Eating a rice ball. That was one of my favorite things from uh, Ninja Scroll, Jubei, walking on the bridge, eating his rice. And then uh, they, they uh, 
dudes crept up on him and he whooped ass. He threw the rice ball up in the air and uh, whooped some ass, man. Uh, you know, so uh, Wizard Beard, uh, thank you for the kind words. So now I've got this, and I was going to have him looking down at us, but instead I'm going to have him uh, enjoying his his rice ball. It's probably one of the best he's had in a while, uh, and he needs his carbs, you know. So now we've got we've got this sort of uh, basic mannequin here, and again I could go in and uh, go crazy with the anatomy, but right now we're again we're doing dealing with. Uh, edge pieces so all of this stuff is basically going to inform the other stuff um you know and you can see if i hit remember i put the vanishing point here in the horizon here that look at those heels line up those knees line up the 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 hip lines up this is the only place i got a little bit off right there uh technically i should have that shoulder a little bit higher so maybe i'll uh I'll do that. I think one of my kids took my needed eraser. I need to grab another piece. Uh, so a little bit higher here. And that'll be a little bit, means this will be slightly lower. So that's what uh, the perspective is for, right? So now we've got this dude in perspective. Um, I'm going to take this sword, put that here. Marshall, thank you for the uh, the super chat. When will we do a rap collab? I think that would be fun. Well, dude, I've got uh, I'm working on the mixtape for uh, oh the camera's blurry. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, I'm working on a mixtape, man, uh, and for this black flag thing. So I'll send you some tracks, and if if you got some verses you want to throw down, uh, you could throw down. All right, so here we go. Yeah, the camera is blurry. I think that's the that's the weird trade off, right? Like when when you have more light, let's get it so it it does this. There we go. That's a little better. But I'm not gonna draw the whole thing like this because we're gonna start getting into the uh, the the ink aspect of stuff. Yeah, damn this thing. Let's see. A little better. This thing usually wants uh, like harder, clearer things to pull focus off of, and sketchy lines uh, are not it. So here we go. We've got a uh, dude here. He's got his hand on his sword. Um, I'm going to give him uh, a couple other swords, probably one, and then uh, maybe another one here. This dude is is uh is all wept up, right? So I can give myself some contour lines as reminders if I want, uh, like this. And if these, you know, if, if I if I went through and the disc would flatten out here, and then you would see more of it, almost like you were looking, you know, down the tubes. Like this is essentially how things would go uh, all the way up here. All right. Yeah, Zade Comics. The the topic is the word samurai. So um, what I'm going to do now is is again draw some basic shapes, and uh, we're gonna fucking get nutty. I think. I think. I think I want to get nutty. It seems like a good thing that we could be doing. Um. Street Samurai. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. A straw hat. A straw hat. That's interesting. Let's see. Like hanging on the on his back or like actual like. I like that idea, Mr. Bruce. All right. All 
Got some ideas for that blade there. All right. Laundry basket hat. There we go. I want to get a verse on the mixtape. Of course, DLP. That's a given, man. You know that. That's 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 a no question thing. All right. All right, here we go. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be. What does that say? Knee length ponytail drawn sword graphics. Okay, this is gonna be a collaborative effort, I guess, man. Let's uh, let's do it. Knee length uh, ponytail. There we go. Uh, let's see, ponytail. Well, that's going to look like a dong or a shit, so let me move it this way. There we go. Mm. There we go. Rice ball, bite taken out of it, having a chew. All right, here we go. We're going in. We're going in for the inks. Uh, we'll probably use similar tools to the ones we did yesterday. Or I might grab the other one. Remember how I was talking about the idea of these things called fast pens? Uh, one of my favorite classic fast pens is something called a Pilot Fine Liner. It's made by Pilot, uh, and it's called a Fine Liner. Let me uh, get my grab on over here. Zip into the uh, the magical bag of pens. Cherry blossoms in the wind. That's not a terrible idea. Uh, or maybe even torn bits of newspaper in the wind. Who knows? This is why you don't design by committee. That's right. That's right. Uh, all right, here we go. So this right here is, is a Pilot Fine Liner. Uh, let's see if I can get that logo nice in there. Pilot Fine Liner. Uh, it's a felt pen, but it's got a nice tip on it, and, and it it's not as flexy as uh, the Touch, the one that I showed you guys yesterday, this one here. It's got that real bounce to it. Uh, it's way more forgiving than a brush, uh, but it's a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of, of uh, being able to have fun and move fast. All right. So here I'm going to, again, when, when coming up with the idea of moving fast and like uh, what warming up the inks, it's a full moon and I feel a little bit crazy uh, and it's been a tough fucking day. Uh, regarding the computer and such. Um, of course, you know what I have to do? Just have to remind myself because it's a, 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 a toe thing, right? We got to make sure we do the, uh, the sweet, uh, where is it at? There we go. The toes, you know, the ninja toes. Uh, but here, here's it. Also, here's how the, the thing works, right? Like, so if I'm like here and I go, we're looking at his feet. And even though I'm moving this uh, along, it looks like we're tilting up to look at him. Now we're looking down. Now we're tilting up. So that's the idea of this sort of uh, perspective coming this low and then putting a little bit of a, uh, a vanishing point up there and, and looking up and down. And also seeing this on camera, I realized like this, this arm, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it because uh, it's too long. 
I'm also sitting at a weird angle where I'm kind of far away from it. Like I'm not straight over it like the camera is. And I can actually see a little clearer. And, uh, so that needs to go there. And notice how the hand didn't move. There we go. That's much better. I gotta put the, the, the ideas back in there. Uh, but yeah, right now I got to pick what, where, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go, uh, ink wise and how am I going to, uh, uh, how am I going to get into the, the, the inking process here? What goes where? Hello, son. Hello. How are you? They're watching me draw the samurai. Cool. Cool. Huh? Yeah. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the fast pen uh, and uh, see where they can't that the cameras right here, bud. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to peep on it. All right. Uh, do you guys like it wider like this or would you uh, would you like me to push the camera in so you can see a little bit uh, tighter on the inks? What do you guys prefer? Hello, Stefani. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see here. Let me, uh, I'm going to go push it in just a little. Move the light. Got to move the light some more because it's, there we go. Uh, King KDI, where's the bacon at? The question is asked, but will there be an answer? Um, King Katie, uh, yeah. And then we're going to wash it down. And then we're going to understand the kind of focus. The fear factor of, of MJ was so, so thick. We're going to go tight. We're gonna go tight, uh, so you guys can see. Basically, this is uh, this is good, right? This is pretty good. Looking at that camera angle, it's it's a tiny bit closer than I'm used to seeing things, but um, let's see how it goes. Let's see how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna start in here. Again, like I said, this is a, a what I would call a fast pen. You're able to uh, draw really fast and, and not really be too focused on the thick to thin aspect of it. Um, you generally kind of craft the thick to thins as you go with this. Like I said, it has a little bit of flex. Uh, Marsh, uh, I do use brushes, usually uh, in the form of a brush pen though. Uh, I do have I have some really nice brushes. Here's this brush pen here. Um, I'm not going to concern myself with brush at this stage. Yesterday we started uh, because somebody challenged me and said if I was a real man I would start with a brush. Uh, but uh, today I want to start with the fast pen to kind of give you guys uh, the idea stuff. And again, I can go uh, I can go faster. I can definitely go faster. Uh, so. Thinking about uh, that knuckle would be here. This knuckle would be here. This knuckle would be here. Uh, and then this thing would go here. I haven't really thought of my light source yet. Uh, let me see what would be best. Maybe up in here, coming this way. Um, so one of the things you can do to indicate shape is through shadow, right? Not just the fact that this casts a shadow, but the shape of what it's being cast upon. So what I mean by that is if I, if I do this, you can tell that, that it's not just flush under there, that there's a bit of a uh, knuckle. So we go here. Do I want to give him any sort of fancy, fancy stuff 
on his glove. Again, it's the we talked about this yesterday. Uh, detail value, right? If you flush something with too much detail, and I know this because I do it, and you guys should see the amount of detail I want to do. Uh, if you flush something with too much detail and too many spots, the eye doesn't know where to go. Um, so hey, we're giving this some shadow. I wanted to. Uh, I'm a big fan of these uh, cylindrical shapes. Like I always think of them like. I think it's because I'm such a big fan of Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. Those were when I was a, 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 a Thundercat lover. Still love Thundercats. But uh, back in 85 when I first saw them and, you know, was so intrigued. Uh, that opening, that theme song by itself was crazy. But uh, I want I wanted to know who Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat were because they were, uh, you know, pretty much my age. But they, they had these awesome pouches uh uh with with uh these i don't know what those what would you call those like smoke bombs and and uh just cool shit uh and i, I always was like man i, I want to be able to do flip through trees and throw down a smoke bomb and i don't know i just thought they were the coolest so when i when i design some of this stuff i'm always thinking like oh this guy can break these off throw them down create smoke or maybe they uh, have drugs in them uh, to make, you know, make the, the, the bad guy hallucinate. Who knows? Uh, is there a slight camera shake going on? I'm sorry about that, man. Let's slow down. What up, DJ2K Comics? How are you, man? Uh, let's see. Here we go. Sorry, I lost tra track of thought real quick. All right. So, again, like I said, we started with a fast pin so I could kind of uh, get into this. One of the thing about knuckles is remember that the pinky and the ring finger curve in towards the middle finger. And then this, the index finger in a fist uh, curls in towards the middle finger. So you kind of want them to uh, roll in like this. Roll, roll, roll. And then we can put a little bit of shadow, like we were saying before. Uh, it gives you an idea of what's in front of what. Uh, and then put this, this hilt. But this isn't just a hilt. I have this idea for this thing. And also, the other thing you want to keep in mind is where that vanishing point is. You know, keep it in the side of your head, uh, in the side of your mind or inside your mind. Uh, so you're when you're drawing your stuff always like for me, it's slightly off camera down here. I'm I'm referencing it in my mind's eye uh, where it would uh, exist um, in space in the space that we've uh, decided to show. I'm listening to some old school rap right now. My buddy, um, my buddy L, uh, he's a real cool dude. He's a a, a musician. Uh, he lives out in uh, the East Coast. Uh, he used to live in um, in New York, and he used to live down the road from uh, 1520 Sedgwick, which is where hip hop came from. Right. The, DJ Cool Herc in the rec room back in August 11th of of uh, 73 created uh, hip hop, and uh, my buddy L used to live down the street from there. So he he uh, he's kind of always had hip hop in his um, in his DNA, you know. And one of the things that he did, which a lot of us 80s kids did, uh, L's got a couple of years on me. Uh, is we pop a, a cassette in the boom box and when uh radio came on we would record uh radio shows so this is actually a radio show from 84 or 85 this is from his his the fear. there we go i bumped that button uh this is from his personal uh 
collection and he turned these cassettes in, into mp3s and and hooked me up man uh what's up fenris fenra fire you have an idea uh what's your idea man what up uh pat how are you man pat uh patrick thomas parnell is in the house uh yeah yeah okay so uh anyway that's what we're listening to and and i don't think youtube is going to ding me because it's like old old school and you can't really hear it um i know john malin john malin's in the house what up john how are you man uh it's good to see you dude we're having a a, a bit of a of a draw a draw stream right now where we're just um Walking through process. Today's today's word of the day, chosen by uh, Lord Crackhead, is samurai. Uh, so I, I went through the process of where you put your vanishing point, how to like set your figure. You know, if you set their feet in a vanishing point and you work your way up the body, as I like to do, as I've been saying, uh, you can you can put them in uh, proper perspective and have a nice uh, point of view which, like I said, is down here on, on the knees. Um, I also got to remember, uh, before we get too, too involved, somebody wanted cherry blossoms, and I said, how about a uh, torn newspaper? So I want to make sure uh, I pop those pieces, those newspaper bits in here before, um, before I can't overlap them, right? That's the, the thing. So we're going to put these. Uh, these bits of paper I kind of made those evenly together, so I need to mess it up a little more. That's the thing is like I, I'm a fan of uh, asymmetric thinking. So we're going to put this bit of paper here. Put some little doodles on the on the paper. Um, all right, so here's some some uh, ripped paper that's just uh, floating through the wind for now. For now, uh, just anything that overlaps uh, parts of the body, I want to uh, make sure that it's there. So there we, we've got a bit of that going on, right? Uh, so then now we're going back in uh, into this arm. So you guys said closer is better. So let's uh, let's do closer. There we go. And it's a little sharper, a little bit sharper. Um, so here we go. So these little things here, uh, I'm thinking are almost like little baskets of something. We don't know what uh, the samurai is delivering at all, uh, but I'm, I'm using them uh, to kind of rope this is kind of going to rope this uh, this package in, uh, like such. Do you guys know that tomorrow is is uh, Rob Liefeld's birthday? Isn't that cool? Uh, I've known that dude for a long time. I met him way back in '89. Uh, I learned a lot from him, uh, as, you know, from as far as dynamics and creating and stuff like that. Uh, get in as tight as a whale's vision in the Arctic waters, says unhinged. Uh, you know, that's, um, I don't, I have no, uh, shit, man, I don't even know. Uh, I have no reference for that. All right. So this is going to be, uh, like a cool scroll, right? And it's going to come in here. I'm going to tie that up as well. Pop that in there. Again, you know, I always talk about those reinforcement lines to reinforce the form. This thing is uh, basically a cylinder, and that vanishing point is off here. So these contours, somebody last night had said contours. Yeah, they're basically contours if I kept going around. Um, and that's kind of the secret of drawing like Mobius too. If you ever were like, I want to draw like Mobius, um, basically you uh, you just kind of dot and dash out those uh, those contours. That's that's how you, Mobius did it. Like he can do um, a simple shape, 
here, let me get a piece of paper and just show you what I'm talking about. Um, we'll draw, we'll draw three simple uh, cylinders, right? So if I draw this shape like this, the same uh, shape here, and then uh, this shape, I we're saying that this is the horizon because we're seeing the underside and the top side of this. Uh, basically, if I do that and then throw a little cast shadow, that says enough about that being a cylinder, right? Dots and dashes. But then there's the what I'm doing, which is basically uh, this. A little bit of a of a a different version, and then there's the sort of uh, this version here, uh, where you see this, and then there's a bit of more hatching, right, and that. But they essentially they essentially do the same thing. The main thing, though, is that like the reinforcement of the shape is that th th these things, the contours. Uh, go like that so you basically when i say i'm reinforcing the shape i'm basically uh doing this thing here to this or the same thing here with this it's just kind of confirming and reinforcing that this is um in fact uh the shape it is and you have texture lines and cues that allow you to know what it is uh, so that's 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 what's up when i say that shit. um all right another Another package here. Like this. Um, again, we're using this thing called the, I, I, I call them fast pens, right? Because you can see I'm going much faster than I did yesterday. Uh, and that's because, again, with this this sort of pen, the uh, this is, again, a Pilot Fine Liner. Uh, I should start putting this shit in, in the, freaking description and get some affiliate marketing going because uh, you guys definitely want to get these pens. Uh, uh, with this pen, you're not really concerned so much with thick to thin. When I'm working with a brush, I'm very mindful of how much pressure, uh, how much pressure I'm putting on the, the, the brush because it, it's so it's sensitive, right? Like, if I get in here and I go, okay, I'm going to come in here and I want this line to be thin and thick, I have to go a little slower because I'm being a little more mindful. With this pen, it's it's more of a fixed a fixed uh, width. So I can basically draw as fast as I want to with it. Uh, there we go. Another package back there. Who is this? The Samurai Mailman? What is this guy? Um, so this reinforces this shape back here. Uh, we're saying that that's uh, another package back there, but because it's got that rendering, we're, we know that it's it's uh, up and behind this one. And we'll reinforce that again with depth cues. We can do, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, thick to thins, right? That That's the other other version, which is if I do this, and just make that thick. I don't even render it. And I do that. That also looks like a cylinder. Or here's another trick. If I do this and I make this uh, thick, thin, thick, thick, thin, thick, except this side's real thick like that, uh, this this all of a sudden becomes a completely different shape. You can see that it's got form to it. And if I do core lighting like this, I can turn that ambiguous shape into something that looks a little more like uh, anatomy, you know, like that. And then give it an elbow and that's part of an arm. So that's that's little tricks you can use uh, to, to get through it, you know. Um, that's what thick and thins are for is help to help give um, uh, my daughter wanting an app. That's a lovely thing about having daughters that have their own little iPods and they want they want uh, apps, but they have to ask your permission as you get these 
inane texts all day long. Dad, can I have whatever? You know. Um, here's another thing. What if he's got? Um, this is where it's fun to have imagination. Uh, I'm going to right here. I need a little, little thicker. Let's use. Uh, this pen, which we call a fast pen, but you still have to be a little delicate with it. Um, we go. I'm being quiet because I'm visualizing this thing. There we go. Got some weird little pet bird thing. Just chilling, chilling on his arm. Uh, you know, exactly. Amazon delivery. That's right, samurai. Exactly. See? Now I can just barely hear the beat of the music. That's good. As long as uh, YouTube doesn't hear it, then we're good. That means I can listen to the jams I want to listen to. Uh, and, uh, you know, not get dinged. You guys having a good night? I hope you guys are having a good night. I'm having uh, a good night. I'm feeling better now than I was earlier today. Uh, just computer problem after computer problem was, uh, driving me quite mad, uh, Quite literally, and again with the with the uh, the full moon in effect, it just compounds things. I actually believe in that stuff, you know. I'm like, why am I so why am I so pissed off? I'm not usually a guy that gets pissed off. I know it's been a hard day, but like I'm exceptionally pissed off today. Uh, and then when I went to pick up Lily Bell uh, at her friend's house, I'm like, oh shit, man, it's a full moon out. Uh, all right, so we got our, our bird friend. Link that up and over, that up and over, that up and over. Some more of that. We said the light was here, so we want this. Do that. There we go. So we got that. I'm gonna come in. Uh, I'm gonna come in with the with the brush real quick too. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, e em link. M link. Uh, it's fucking nuts. 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 Um, all right. Let's get in here. Uh, so here with the brush. I'm coming in with a brush because I want a little more bolder, uh, bolder shapes as I go. So we're going to pop that under there, a little bit of shadow underneath there to get that, that scroll, uh, an extra vibe. Pop that, our little bird friend. This needs shadow, that needs a shadow, that needs to be uh, reinforced as a shadow. There we go. So... There we are with that so far. What up, Publishing Pete? How are you, man? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Uh, let's see. And then next, I'm going to bring... Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to give him like a little sash sort of thing that he used to have over his face? Yeah. Yes, I do. So I'm going to take that there. Uh, thinking about how how the fabric would fall, that the tension is up behind his neck up here. Uh, so it's going to basically fall up and around, and the gravity is going to bring it right about there. And we're going to give it a little bit of extra lip. Like this. And uh, let's give it a cool pattern, you know? Uh, let's see what we can do. Let me do this too. 
That would be cool. Let's do that. I want to do that. That'll be a lot of fucking fun, actually. Um, I was going to give this a pattern, but I decided something different. There we go. I like that. That That's actually going to be pretty cool. All right. So I'm coming up in here, working this uh, the, the shape of this uh, scarfy thing out. Uh, let's, let's give it a, a different pattern. But uh, this is going to help define the shape as well. So I'm, I'm saying that this thing is uh, sort of striped. And then you're going to see by the way the stripes go, uh, the shape of that scarf, right? It helps define the shape of that scarf. Um, and then we're going to get into the straw hat. So let's uh, draw the edge. A little bit of repetition as far as how I have uh, the hat stitching, but I'm also going with the uh, asymmetric aspect uh, aspect of it uh, and uh, just to break up the shape make a little dents here uh, again let's have a little bit of that that bit of it. it may have a hole in it and then this overlaps that overlaps that overlaps that uh, so we get this hat going some more Go here. Uh, we want to stagger that. So that goes like that. That goes here. That goes here. That goes here. That goes here. So we're kind of staggering it a little bit. And we're not going to draw all of the straw. We're just uh, giving enough indication of uh, that it that it exists and that it, that it repeats. It's almost like that cylinder aspect, but uh, um, on the hat instead there we go now we're going to get into some of the future futuristic aspects of this so he's got a little of a uh, metallic -y neck going to see the uh, underside of his chin. Like that. So he's, his cheek is full. Underside of his nose. There we go. Underside of the chin. go what up charlie how are you man uh we've been going a, a, an hour and eight i think this thing's going to be done in an hour i did this yesterday too um as far as like guesstimating how long this is going to take to finish um i'm going to give this thing uh, another hour yesterday we did a, a 40 minute thing um this as far as my estimation i think this is going to take another another uh another hour that's what i'm going to give this thing is another hour all right so let's see there we go so i'm thinking of uh just some fun details uh here you know again we're this guy is a samurai so uh, I want to. I want to still continue to have these sort samurai-like details that say this is exactly what this guy is. Uh, so that's why you're going to see some of those uh, traditional details there, and then rice ball, and then there's the bite. Go. 
go. That looks pretty rice-like. All right. I want to put a nice shadow underneath this whole hat. So let's get this other fast pen in here. Underside of the hat. All of this. All of underneath his chin. Cast. Uh, let's see. Probably a bit underneath that lip. Under that nose. There we go. And then this. We can basically uh, do the contours of the hat. With this fat pen. Uh, and then come in there with a thinner pen to to uh, give the, the extra details to it, but that, that's enough to lay in the intention of uh, what's going to happen up under there. So we tighten it up again with uh, the, uh, the pen tail. Uh, not pen tail. This is the Pilot Fineliner. My bad, guys. My bad. So here's uh, some more of that detail of a straw hat here. Now you can see uh, what I was planning to do with uh, the value underneath there. Put a uh, symbol of a B on here. And you could see I didn't draw the, the whole B because the, the other side of that, that logo uh, is falling away from the camera. go and then we can come in with the brush a little bit and add some details you know I like adding the stubble in there so I'm gonna go crazy delicate with the stubble there we go some more rendering lines and this is where we can get a little crazy with uh, the fact that this pen has uh, such uh, range, right? We can go, oh, it can get thin lines, thick lines. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of exploiting the fact that it, it can do these thin lines. Uh, and then also coming in with some um, opportunity for some shadows in here. There we go. So there, there's that so far. Uh, you guys feeling good? We have 100 people on a Friday night. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I desperately wish I had uh, a beer. I'm thinking about the beer, the beer, the beer. Uh, it is what it is, though. Let me see. Let me back this camera up a little tilt there we go all right so we got some more uh we said this was a uh, plate and then this is also a plate but then this uh goes here so this is going to be kind of like those um what do you call it? The, um, the beaded curtains, you know, that you see in those like smoke shops or old record stores or places that you can buy incense. I imagine it being made out of that kind of material. Uh, and this, again, since this is a fast pen, I'm able to just kind of 
come in here and lay this looks like real busy detail but it's just going down uh you know uh let's see here um some more like this and this i i imagine this is almost like a like a, a flexible armor and then here's some more opportunity see how i'm putting a little bit of shadow in between those it gives the idea and the illusion that that this thing is sitting up and over them and that there's a bit of uh, ripple to them right uh let's see so we'll put this breastplate here what do i want to do with that do i want to keep it straight up or do i want to uh, yeah i want to put some more graphic stuff in here so these are just going to be some uh vertical vertical stripes right and that recede away so this is another thing you can do for uh depth cues and i'm gonna do a little lesson again but like when you see train tracks go away this one's long this one's long this one and it gets shorter and shorter but they also get closer together as they go away that's a depth cue, right? And that's essentially what I'm doing with the, those vertical graphics on that chest. I'm giving you the idea of this chest shape, but because I put this vertical graphic and this vertical graphic, and then this one is shorter and closer, but we've already established these two are this length and this far away, and through repetition, we're assuming that these are the same size. But because they are much smaller and much closer together, we get the idea that this thing is bending and receding away from our eye. And that's a, that's a simple graphic trick that you can use. Um, that's a very, very simple, very simple trick that you can use. Um, and then underneath, we're going to layer this. We're going to put like some, uh, some sort of cool bamboo uh, thing that goes here like this. So we've said this is the vanishing point. So we're going to take that there, 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 there. Uh, boom. And again, we get the idea that if this was symmetrical, look how much space we have here and how short these are in between here. But our eye assumes this is the same same distance between these two so trickery is that this must be further away um and this overlap that's another thing that's a, a depth cue that we can use uh overlap so here we go again where this uh beaded thing is is leaving a bit of a shadow on this bamboo but the shape of the shadow outside of being that this thing is being hit by light it reinforces the idea that these things are round you know what i'm saying uh you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying no regrets um all right so i'm gonna do something cool for his belt i'm not sure what i want to do yet though uh, yeah i do i think i know what i'm gonna do right now um so i see this i see this shape like this and then there we go it's a it's a weapon right there where his uh his junk would be so he he, he carries a a pistola right there Give it a cool grip. There we go. And then shells. This would probably go here. Snap. Snap. Uh, muzzle of the weapon. Snap. And then some sort of thing that would hitch up and over the belt. Shadow, shadow more shadow um, 
there we go. So now you take this uh, here, a little bit of shadow there. Do, 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 do. Oh, and, and a reminder: if you guys, for you guys that weren't here yesterday, um, obviously the person who picked the word for today that would be Lord Crackhead. Uh, he's getting this original. This this will belong to him. But at the end of all of this, at the end of Fragtober, uh, there will be a PDF uh, which will be available to all. I will put. I'll be putting the description. Uh, in the yeah the description in the link thank you full moon uh i'll be putting the link in the description once uh the pdb the pdf is put together uh and uh then then you guys can have uh sort of a keepsake of of our time together here on uh the frag boom live and while you're at it if you haven't yet please go go back black flag that's my book on um Indiegogo. It's my very first Comicsgate book. I am uh, Comicsgate proud. I hope you guys uh, enjoy everything that, that we do. Uh, don't believe any of the, the BS out there from the sad, joyless Wokies. Uh, and enjoy enjoy uh, the, the comics and the entertainment that uh, we're making for you because uh, it's a blessing and we're, we're having fun doing it, man. You leaving? Uh, no. Frega Boom, is it acceptable to have a tangent in armor like that? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, but Hello. wait, wait, wait. Stop, dude. Wait till it's done, my brother. Wait till it's done. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of tangents, man. I'm not a big fan of tangents. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do here. This is going to come and wrap up and around. This is wrapping up and around. Underside. This goes here. That's the belt holding the gun in. Put that there. Uh, and then I'm going to do this. These are little, uh, oh, I got to back the camera up or actually show you what I'm doing. I'm uh, doing this here. These are uh, basically going to show the, the slats, like where the slats are. But these are going to be the little uh, cables that are wires or twine or whatever it is that the those samurai use to, to hold those uh, the plates in. So I'm going to... Uh, do this one here. You see it's going to cut across like that. And then this will come here. This will be here, here, here. And here you're going to see I'm not like completing the lines all the way. Uh, this is just sort of indication of uh, what's going on there without having to draw um, all the way through. That's a, a little trick too, because um, sometimes you get cool, cool shapes out of omission, omission of information. Uh, so then, uh, again, we're coming in with the the little shadow reinforcement in between some of these to show that this has got a bit of a. Uh, these tiles aren't flat; they got a little bit of a, a, a bevel to them. Right. Uh, put the shadow of that gun in here. Like that. So there goes the shadow of that gun. So now you can see how it sits. Um, and this this is where I'm going to get a little Mobiusy, if that's a real word. Uh, Jean Gerard Mobius. Um, I'm gonna uh, do do this uh, this all Mobius style. So what I, what I mean by that is I'm gonna do those dashed lines, right? So I'm gonna do the thickest ones, or the at least the 
yeah, the thicker ones will be down here. So uh, pull, 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 thick to thin, thick to thin, like this. <sighs> Make sure that dries uh, a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner and a little farther apart, right? And then I go back in with a fast pin and I do the Mobius part right here, which is uh, giving it a little bit of little bit of indication. But this is um, a little bit of texture action, right? And then this needs to be pushed back a little. So we'll do this like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, hope, hopefully this is making sense to you guys. Uh, thank you to the 118 of you that are here on a Friday night. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good libation. I'm, I'm doing the, uh, the sober October uh, just because I, I want to feel a little bit better. Uh, I need to re rebuild now that I'm I'm getting healthy from the operation. I need to uh, need to rebuild. You know. Um, all right. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna do uh, this side of him. Finish up this this sword slash gun weapon. go and then a little reinforcement of shape again so we get the idea of what that what that's shaped like and then we got to put those uh those slatted things here boom boom there uh boom there working our way up the leg like that and we're these are going to come across here here, there, and then that one's going to fall up and behind. And then this, I think, is probably going to curve a little bit. We're going to say these wrap up and around. Uh, all right. Like that. All right, so, oh, hey, you scared the shit out of me, little girl. How are you? I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? I thought you said you were staying up all night. I'm very tired. Yeah, I love you. I'm meeting a super strong. You're meeting a what? <laughs> it's a truffle shaped like a seahorse. Nice. Enjoy your truffle, my dear. I love you. All right. You guys know her. That's a... Uh, the boss, uh, at least one of the bosses, you know, young Miss Lily Bell. Well, you didn't think you were going to get away with a, a Frega drawing without some tears, right? Some rips and tears. We're we getting that blur on. Hold on. Blur. No blur. Fix it up, camera. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, let's see. Here we are so far. You guys seen what we're doing so far. Um, get get in there now with some, some more value because uh, it's, it's feeling too detailed. Not too, too detailed, but uh, I want to get in here and uh, pop, pop some of these shapes. go 
again, these are fast pens. You can get a lot done. What I'd say, it's going to be about an hour. Uh, and that was 20 minutes ago, 22 minutes ago. So we're, we're cruising. We are cruising. All right. And then uh, got to do some plates for the legs. Back up a little bit. There we go. All right, so from here, uh, I'm going to give him the little, uh, I don't know what you call those, that, that skirt pants. Skirt pants. Again, like I like, I like the, the stripes from uh, Lone Wolf and Cub when Frank Miller would draw... Um, the uh the cool stripes on dude's uh robe or whatever whatever the hell that thing was there we go there we got that goes here goes here are all right so then here we go with the stripes but i'm going to go kind of diagonal here uh to keep keep some flow going on let's see this goes up over up over Is it going around, around? So we get that kind of idea. And then uh, what else can I do with this? I can give a little bit of lines uh, to indicate some shape of what's happening underneath. But then uh, on the darker colored stripes, just give it a little more, just a tiny bit more. Uh, boom, we're saying that that's the, the darker stripe here. There we go, and then, uh, there we go. Come up and underneath. And then this thing's going to cast a shadow as well. So we're going to get what it's what it's doing. There we go. Let's get back into this fast pen and get into uh, the idea of that that uh, knee pad or knee knee slash shin pad. And now we're getting to the point where we're right at the horizon, right? So from here, things are gonna uh, kind of be level right like the wraps are going to be kind of almost a straight line everything up here is rounding up and everything down here is rounding down so now we have an opportunity to uh you know take a look at our vanishing point and get reoriented again so uh let's give him a, a little bit of a some sort of shin guard which is now going to wrap around uh, because we're actually at our eyes above it now, right? And then uh, let's get in here. Get in there and do that foot shape. Let's get that, move that and see if you guys can see that. Um, ninja toes. So I'm going to wrap that there a little bunch that's gonna wrap there let's 
So step into the AM. Give a uh, little booty thing some tread because he is a street samurai, right? Our good friend, the street samurai. Um, so here we are. We're drawing, drawing that part of his leg. Uh huh. And if we have extra extra time, because like I said, this is going to be done. I figured this would be done around um, when we're about what is it, ten thirty six right now. I was thinking this would be done about uh, eleven oh eight. But I, it there's a very distinct possibility that it's going to be done uh, even sooner. So we got that. Can't forget that ponytail. All right, got to put that other sword here. Oh, you guys are totally missing it. I'm like, what the hell? Not even uh, showing you that other sword. So that other sword is here. Uh, it's got some cool hanging shit because he doesn't really take it out that often. He's got his gun and his other gun sword here to keep him keep him safe and comfortable. Come on, focus. Wham. There we go. All right. So on these shin guards, I got to do some stuff to reinforce that shape. Because uh, I got this really strange shape going on. There we go. Um, man, that's a little blown out. Let me do this. And one more. Blast. There we go. One, two, three. Focus. Come on. Usually it comes back. Needs more light. Damn it. There we go. Let's try this one more time. Sorry about the focus, guys. Just do this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. That's how we get that going. All right. So working out this, this side here. Putting the tread on these bad boys, just like those. There we go. So that's that other side there. Uh, fill that in. I'm going to come into this cape a little bit uh, and give it a little bit of cool motion lines. So let's take that there. Go. That needs a little more 
a little more uh, value under there to pop that arm and pop the other bit. So I'm going to do this like that. That looks a lot better. Uh-huh. More shadow. Just needs a little more shadow as well. There we go. Uh, this will come out here. Little rib cage action. I'm getting all quiet. Sorry about that, guys. I get that way uh, when I get into thought. Um, there we go. There's that. So we just got to finish up this this other arm. And we're going to be coming in early. The pin was faster than I uh, I had anticipated, being that it was a fast pen. Go. And then uh see getting into your zone, Dan. No need to apologize, just jamming. Yeah, uh thanks, man. Yeah, I, I uh sometimes uh you know you forget. <laughs> I forget I'm live streaming sometimes, guys. Um it happens. So here we're gonna knock this all the way back into shadow. Uh like that. What else can we get in the shadow here? We got that, 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 like that. What's up, son? Good night. You going to bed? Yes. All right. I love you. Thank you. All right. Have a good sleep. See you in the morning. And sleep in. It's Saturday. Okay. You got to tell these kids to sleep in sometimes, and that way we can try. We can try to sleep in, but um, it try is the funny, the funny word, right? Like, haha, -ha, because the the one and a half year olds like is is not Saturday. It's day day. Uh, so that means I'm up. That means I'm up, and if I'm up, you're up. So uh, one of us, either the lovely Miss Brianna Frega, or I have to get up with uh, baby sauce and uh, put on Yo Gabba Gabba for her you know, so she can enjoy uh, her day as she sees fit because babies have powers, right? All right, and then uh, we're going to come in with a strong shape. Where did my big Kurataki brush go? That's what I'm going to use. Kurataki brush. Another one of my favorite brush pens. Come in and put, do some bold, uh, bold stuff on this bad boy here. Let's see here. Boom. Uh, thank you, uh, M Link. Uh, that's a very kind compliment. Uh, she, he said, uh, uh, I have a strong visual vocabulary. I appreciate that. Thank you. I try to uh, try to draw as much as I can every day, and uh, and also with that, um, try to learn textures and learn learn. Um, how to communicate ideas. You know, we were talking about this yesterday as far as like, you know, reference, you know, uh, I can draw a lot of things without reference because of, um, shorthand, right? Like 
like when you look at a, a say a, a BMW, um, there are things about that BMW that make it a BMW, not just a car, right? But if if you were to take those things and like really just distill them down into their their core to where the thing was still recognizable, that's why like they say if a if a, a cartoon character has a strong silhouette. Um, it, it's very helpful, uh, and strong silhouettes are helpful in, in comics as well, uh, because you're, you're able to communicate an idea, uh, with fewer, fewer words for fewer lines, fewer, um, things. So that's also sort of forgiving when, um, you have to draw something that you've never drawn before, like a, an elephant. You know, elephants have big ears. They're kind of shaped like a jelly bean. Some of them have tusks. Um, you know, stuff like that. You know. Describe smoke. Um, ink and water. Uh, describe ink and water. A, uh, a swirl of particles that look like dancing. I don't know. That's the uh, best I can do. Uh, I'm going to check in and see if I missed any Super Chats. Because uh, if I did, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't really been 100% looking at the uh, the screen. So uh, let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. See? Let me take a look. Marsh has sent a couple, man. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Hey, yo, free the bunny hat. Love the X-Men shirt, buddy. Uh, thank you for the $5 super chat. Marsh, dude, when we do a rap collab, yeah, yeah, I hit that one. Thank you. Where the bacon at question I asked will be answered. So we're all caught up. That's good. That's good. Thank you guys for the super chats. Um, also, um, if you ever want to uh, be a member of this channel, we have really cool uh, – Really cool stuff, buttons, magnets, things like that, uh, stickers. Every month you get something in the mail that's something like that, uh, a, a, as well as some some desktops for your computer each month of uh, some Fregaboom and uh, Incredible Comics artwork. And uh, and if you're if you're backing at the uh, you know the insane dude level. You get a piece of art, uh, a few sketchbook pages uh, torn directly out of my sketchbook or out of my uh, Instagram drawings. Uh, but that's what you get at the at the insane dude level um, is that stuff. And then this this month, uh, you don't have to be at any level to get art. You just have to have a cool, uh, cool word that uh, resonates that seems like it would be a lot of fun to draw. You know, here we are. Uh, we've got 20 minutes uh, left until this drawing is done, like I said it was. Uh, but like I said, chances are we'll probably be done a little, little bit sooner. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, boom. Pull that there. That's that cape that's flowing back there. Uh, strong shape. Strong shape. Something uh, Dennis Cowan had taught me that uh, Howard Chaikin had taught him, and he was saying how a lot of stuff is based on shapes. Like we went through a lot of the technical aspects of this, like I showed you the perspective and all that. But um, if I back this up a little bit, you'll see that like there's a hard shape coming here. Then I have this swirl that's coming up and around. Um, you know, th these are all all little um, compositional elements to, to have fun with. But the main thing is uh, clarity, right? So, uh, dun dun dun, almost done. So, I got to fill this in. Protect that hanging thing. Don't want to fill that all in with black or we lose that. 
a little bit of a halo there so we get the the shape of uh, the torso in there. Uh, now I want to see it colored, says Past Master Dan. Well, you know what? When you guys get that PDF, uh, you'll be able to do you could be able to do that. You guys want to color this shit up? Then uh, that'd be cool. You know, um, that'd be a lot of fun actually. See, see uh, how you guys see how you see these uh, in color. You know, I think that would be a whole lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna turn this. Because I'm going to be doing uh, some pole lines where I go thick to thin. And usually I can, one my, I start off with uh, thin a lot better than I start off with thick. I know a lot of guys that are uh, better going from thick to thin. I'm more of a, a thin to thick kind of guy uh, as far as when I, when I pull lines. Uh, boom. So we're going to put uh, debris. Debris, debris, debris. And then uh, we got to finish off his his boots by filling those in. And then we'll tidy up some details. Maybe put a, a, a nice uh, ground shadow. Um, I'm leaving a little bit of white space here just to keep it interesting. And then I'll probably come in there with uh, that fast pen to, to uh, reinforce a little bit of the, the, uh, the contours or the shape. I'll keep this back one kind of graphic, actually. Uh, boom. Like this. go I like that and then this thing I let that Kurtaki doesn't dry as fast a little sticky on the the heel of my finger there all right so then this comes in like that and this comes in like this All right, and then uh, the reinforcing details. Thank you for the 193 of you guys that are here. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you for joining. This is night two of uh, Fragtober, where I draw what you suggest. If you go into the description, you're going to see uh, he, uh, a line that says, here is the phrase. You're going to copy and paste that phrase into any of your uh, favorite social medias, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook. It doesn't matter. You just copy that and write where it says fill in the blank. You put in uh, what you want to see drawn. And uh, because you're tagging me and tagging the channel, I'll be able to see what you uh, what you want. And if it's something that seems like it'd be a lot of fun to draw, uh, I will draw it. And not only will I draw it, uh, you will get the original if you're the person that uh, came up with uh, the idea to draw it. So in this case, this would be um, Lord Crackhead. He came up with a samurai. So here we are drawing a samurai. On a Friday night, October 2nd, 2020. Uh, you guys could be anywhere else, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. All right, let's see. Now that we've got pretty much uh, where I need him to be, I'm finding all of the other spots uh, that I can add black to. So that's, um, that's also a McFarlane trick. It's the uh, squint your eye trick about looking at it as a whole. 
because uh, we can get inundated into the little details. But if we, you know, pull back and squint our eyes and see like, oh, this this could use uh, a little bit of black over here, for example. Uh, and this could use a little bit of uh, rendering right there because it's crying for detail, right? Uh, and then we said that was coming this way. So then uh... Oh, sorry, the camera's all off the base. Oh, heavy D. I'm the overweight lover, heavy D. Right now, I am the heavy D. I gained a few pounds, and now I'm trying to get... Uh, trying to get it what up skits how are you man i see you how are you homie it's good to see you my friend all right and then uh pull a little bit of this and then we're gonna uh take some this brush and uh continue the shapes of those uh, papers uh, floating around and they're going to come up and behind him and uh, I think we're going to be uh, 10 minutes early. I got to put the uh, Frega Boom signature in there. Yeah, we're gonna sign this, sign this sob, uh, and call it a a, a dizze as far as the the drawing is concerned. And we're gonna open up the chat. I'm gonna uh, put the link to uh, this in there, and we can do a little post mortem. You guys can ask me questions about the stuff. We can have a little wrap about the day, uh, and uh, that's it. So let me. Um, put the signature in there and then we'll back up and see the whole piece. How about that? So do what we did yesterday, a little bit of a, the square slash scroll deal like that. Boop, 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 boop. And then, uh, sign this, right? So thick, thin, thin, thick, F R A. G, A, yeah, I gotta remember how to spell my name sometimes. And then strong B, crazy O, crazy O, M, exclamation point. Choon, choon, choon. Looks like Praga boom. This one's the Praga boom. Um, boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna pretend that signature thing has a little shadow of its own. All right, and then uh, a couple more dits and dashes, and then uh, I will show you what uh, the the final final bit looks like, and uh, we'll call it the piece. All right, here we go, and then I gotta put my bunny back on, right? Um, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's back that camera up. This is a real nice camera. Won't you back that thing up? All right, let me dim this out too. You can probably see it a um, little bit clearer here. Actually, if I turn on the room light, or I can just hold it up once I flip uh, the camera. How about we do that? 
if you guys can see the whole thing. I just got to get the bunny on correctly. Oh, and I'm missing a super chat. I see a super chat. Let me uh, make sure I don't miss that. Uh, and then we will jump in. Hit me up with beats, bro. Let's do a collab. Yeah, I, I think we should, dude. Uh, I think that would be a good idea. Let me uh, grab this camera or this light, uh, switch it over to hit me hit me in the in the gourd the face the face head neck chest area uh and then we will we will uh see each other and talk to each other when i bring uh bring you guys in so let's go back to facetime here we are papow how are you uh let me grab the the headphones Yeah, I want to. I definitely uh, want to watch that Doug, that Doug stream, uh, Alex. I, I definitely can't wait uh, to watch the whole thing. It's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. There he is. There's our samurai uh, eating his rice ball. Uh, you know, uh, thank you again to uh, Lord Crackhead uh, for the uh, the cool idea to do uh, a samurai. This is going to be uh, yours, uh, you know, so we'll have to at the end of the month, uh, you know, you got to reach out to me. Nova Blast is getting his. Um, so I got to write I got to write your name on this uh, on the back. All right, uh, Lord Crackhead, Lord Crackhead, and then uh, I want to make sure Nova Blast. I don't want his to to lose his. So Nova Blast. There we are. All right, Lord Crackhead. Uh, thank you for the ten dollar super chat, man. You didn't have to do that. Uh, looks so awesome. I'm honored you picked my subject. Uh, Hail Freg Boom, uh, Back Black Flag. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, here we go with some details, you guys. You can see, you guys watch this happen uh, from, from uh, concept. We got our done uh, in about, uh, about an hour and 40 minutes or so. Uh, Dan is naked without that bunny outfit now. I know, man. Uh, you guys, we got to think of something. We gotta uh, think of something because I, I I definitely want to get another bunny outfit, but I want to get I want to get this uh, out to somebody. Somebody's got to get it. Uh, and plus, there's other things I want to wear, man. I got suits and ties, and uh, I got this SpongeBob onesie that I'm really excited about. Uh, like really excited about the SpongeBob onesies. Fucking fire as fuck, to be honest with you, man. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm slanging the link uh, into the chat, and we're going to hang out and talk uh, for, for a little while, at least a half hour, uh, and uh, talk about whatever, man. I don't even know what the subject is. We're going to chill. Uh, Arthur Brown, the uncanny Kodiak, asks, what's tomorrow's word? Well, see, I'm glad you asked. Uh, what you got to do, I'm going to pop the phrase in the chat. Okay, I'm going to pop the phrase in the chat. Uh, chance to pick. I'm going to write and win, even though it wouldn't let me edit this. Uh, you're going to see this phrase that I'm popping in the chat. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, yeah, it won't let me edit it. But here we go. Here we go. This phrase that I'm about to pop in, uh, Mr. Uncanny. Uh, is what you do draw every day you, you copy this this whole whole thing draw every day in october with frega boom you have the chance to pick up pick and win what he draws there's the youtube channel link i pick and then that'll be the word of the day what you pick right i pick follow frega boom and couch doodles for more so what i'm doing when you do this and tag me in it i see it because i get little notifications and i go oh look cool 
So and so said Lionel. Oh, cool. Someone said Bruce Lee. Someone said Precipice. Someone said uh, Adornment. Someone said, you know, and I go, oh, Samurai. Huh, what'll be fun to draw tonight? I think, I think I want to draw a Samurai. So that's how I pick. And uh, we find out the day of. So what you want to do is uh, copy that thing. Get on any social media. If you don't want the Twitsky, Twatsky, Twatter, uh, then don't do it. It's a fucking steamy pile of trash. Um, I'm still on it. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it on Twitter, do it on YouTube. Share it on YouTube. If you don't want to do it on YouTube, share it on Instagram. Uh, share it by uh, pigeon mail. thing we want to do is uh, kind of more than twofold. What we want to do, which is exciting for me, uh, is we want to encourage people to draw along. We want to encourage people uh, to post their drawings. So if you drew tonight, uh, post your suggestion along with your artwork. I want to see your artwork. Uh, you know, get yourself out there, hype yourself up, be part of this movement. It's the Fragtober uh, drawing with Frega Boom, and uh, that's it, man. That's it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And then I got to put the link in. Invite. You guys, come on. Uh, I got nine seats. I know uh, it'd be fun to get you guys up in here. Here we go. What up, Delta Spurg? It's been a minute, dude. How have you been? How the fuck have you been? Check out that fortune cookie in your logo. I like that. It's good to see you, man. Damn it. Christopher John. I thought you got off at, at uh, 11, my dude. Um, I will uh, I'll try to keep this going for a little bit longer, my my, my man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if you guys are on Instagram, there you go. You can uh, hit me on Couch Doodles. And here's a little secret. And it's a big secret because it's kind of embarrassing. I've been been – Getting all my rap skills up on uh, the the last five years, I started a rap Instagram where I did a freestyle a day every day for two years. Uh, and I would basically make up stuff and rap in my car. So a lot of the stuff that you see on this YouTube with me rapping, that came from that Instagram. Um, that was me training up, getting my freestyle skills going, getting my flow skills going. And that one's Fragaboom23. Um, here we go. Here, there, here it is, Marshall. I haven't put it in yet. I'm putting it in right now. Boom. It's the StreamYard link right here. You just click on it. Come on in the show. We'll hang out. Uh, oh, you watched Piranha. That, that, the fear factor of, of MJ was so, so thick. Speaking of uh, thick and awesome, I wish I had my soundboard. It doesn't work, though. Uh, I want to welcome. Well, shit. Now it's filling up back here. This is nice. Uh, first, my partner in crime. I want to introduce you guys my partner in crime. Uh, uh, he is the uh, story editor and uh, the, the uh, story basically the story supervisor over at Incredible Comics. One of my longtime friends. I've known him since 1994, 95, uh, as long as I've been doing Black Flag. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Pedoma. How are you, Will? Hello, Count Fragless. How you feeling, man? You feeling good? I'm feeling swole. Swole on. Swole on. I need to get swole. Uh, we got uh, none other than Mr. Marshall Lee in the house. What's up, Marsh? Hey, what's up? Man, I like How your you popper doing? stopper. Uh, I don't even know what kind of mic that is. That's a, other than that's a nice mic. It's a Samsung. I, I want to get a better mic, but this is what they had at the store. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice looking mic, man. I thought that was up in you know like one of those uh, cloud lifter style mics. Uh, let's bring in uh, Mr. Uh, Clint. I think this is Clint Helinski, right? Yeah, hey, man. How are you, man? I recognize you. Uh, hey, hey, good to see you, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, and another another gangster. Um, you guys have seen him. If you haven't seen him, you need to see him do it. He draws. He can draw with both hands at the same time. He's drawing an amazing book called Stoker. Uh, Charlie Snow is man. He is the bomb. Yeah. 
Charlie. Uh, so we got Pirate Queen. We got Fatal. We got uh, Black Flag. What's we got Marshall in the house. Uh, let's bring in uh, none other than uh, Boob Dan, my man, uh, Boob Dan Art, Dan Flagle, <laughs> another longtime friend. Oh, you bastard! I'm off, <laughs> off the sugar this month, man. No booze, no sugar, low carb. Join that the Walrus Club, my friend, and you can have all the sugar you want. I am not joining your club <laughs> this time, my friend. Uh, Mr. Jason Bascom's in the house. How are you, sir? Uh, okay, I don't know if you can hear the background noise. There's a kid nope, watching TV in another room, so we'll find out. I'm in my living room, so hopefully the signal will not drop out here. A long time, dude, Mr. Lake. Like sir? What's up, guys? How are you cool. doing? And then last but not least in our green room, we have Michael Beacon. Hey, uh, what's up? And then we have Jay Money in the house wrapping out the 10. Uh, how are you, Jay Money? Jay Money. What's up, man? Hey, John. <laughs> what are you up to, dude? Bro. What's up, good gentlemen? How are you guys doing? Hanging in, man. Uh, I'm doing good. good. Uh, King KDI, thank you very much for the five-pound super chats. What was the goal? Size is the prize. Lift heavy, but where the hell is Matt Yaki? Matt yeah, Yaki sure. is chilling, man. <laughs> He's matting the murder can. He's Matt Yaki. <laughs> Skipped my workout uh, today. You know, uh, Clint, Yo. what are you up to, man? Let me move that banner off your head. It looks like no, it's karate. No, no problem. Chopping. That's a sweet banner, man. I love the Incredible <laughs> Comics. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Big fan myself. Old uh, that school, was, late '90s vibe to it. That was the that was the challenge. Uh, uh, Hayden, uh, the my my buddy. Uh, he, if you go to Hayden Art on Instagram, you're gonna see his stuff. Uh, he's an incredible designer. He does logos. He does posters and things like that. I met him at the Apple store. Uh, and he, was, he was doing one of those uh, demonstrations. And I was like, dude, you're fucking awesome. Uh, he's like, oh, this is like one of my other gigs I do. And I'm like, dude, you're, you got to do logos. So he, he oh, worked no. on logos for me. Uh, and he, he really rocked it. Uh, Charlie, what are you up to, man? Uh, I was just drawing a character on the side of the ship in the fuse box. He's just as I was watching you ink your thing, I was in a fuse box on the side of a ship. That's and cool. I was thinking, this feels good, man. It's a beautiful night in autumn. It's nice to be drawn. Oh, dude, I love oh, autumn. Right. Autumn is my favorite time of the year. Uh, you know, autumn in Atlanta. Yeah, my wife hates it. Hates it. Uh, she loves the summer. Yeah, you know, summer. Just, a lot of people. I mean, I get it. It's warm. Fall you know, is when that. your wife starts complaining that it's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have that classic argument about cold, though, you know. Uh, the thing about the cold is you can bundle up and get warm. The thing about the heat is you can straight up get naked and still be blazed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bundling up with a bunny suit. <laughs> This thing gets hot. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. This thing gets hot. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You know, what are you up to, Will? Oh, I'm just remembering that a bit of trivia that I think I, instead of incredible, I prefer chess night comics. Oh, fuck. Why are you doing that, man? <laughs> <laughs> so it, Will is, uh, he's, he's uh, straight, up, straight up outing my very first uh, comic company when I was in high school was called Chess Night Comics. Uh, That's a cool thought, name, though. I like that. Right? I, thought, I thought the look of a chess knight was so cool. Gotta go, thought, guys. You gotta roll? All right, yep. big kid. We'll Peace, see guys. You. Right, Peace thank, you. You. Right. thank you. Peace. That's a serious, serious thing. Yeah. Uh, but, then, but then I saw this comic company called Dark Horse Comics that had the exact same logo. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to compete with them. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, let's see. Well, let's bring in Phil. We got some some people oh, knocking no. on hey, the studio hey, door, so we're gonna. Yes. Oh, he's we're gonna do, Phil. He's we're tall. Gonna be doing some cycling, but yeah, Chestnut Comics. That's where uh, Crime Stalker, the U Men, the uh, all that stuff. They they existed, and and uh, uh, th that's where they did. But then I saw the, you know. Dark Horse Comics had the same logo, and I'm like, I can't do it. 
So we, we created incredible comics. Uh, it's funny because our logo was an eye, like the image eye. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, and you know, uh, image, image came around. I ended up working for image, put incredible in the back, back pocket, but there's some stuff. I had some comics like the adventurer come out yep. from, uh, from incredible comics. So uh, incredible eventually... came before image say what incredible came before image then. Huh? Oh yeah. 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 No, um, I, I, uh, I was image comics first hire outside of uh outside of the studios i mean well you had marat michael Yo, i was gonna say marat before marat but but marat marat was part of the studio so he i don't know do you call that like he was there when it became image i was well, i was got let in from rob yeah yeah so assistant so basically the he, this is the story how i broke into comics uh it's it's crazy right so uh i did a tv show and uh, the, it was a public access show where uh, I had a show called Comic Review for You. I was 16 years old, 15 and 16. This is 1989. Uh, I met Todd McFarlane. I didn't get that on camera. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, see, sorry, man, Mitch Bird, uh, not Mitch, uh, Matt Bird's right. I haven't had sugar since last December. And I was 210 then, and now I'm 163. That exactly sugar is a killer. Oh wow! Uh, nice. But uh, I did this show, and uh, <laughs> sorry, just Jenny <laughs> <laughs> champion. Who doesn't? Uh, I opened up Pandora's box on that. I one. like the Knight of Chests. <laughs> uh, yeah. So so. Um, I did the show and I had this opportunity to go to this convention, talk to the convention about getting in there and doing some interviews. And I interviewed uh, Rob Liefeld for portfolio reviews. And this is when Rob had first uh, started, right? He had some annuals underneath his, uh, his, his doing. He also had uh, done Hawk and Dove, but, uh, and the what if Wolverine had become an agent of shield, but he had not, done the new mutants yet he had not done the x-men yet he hadn't done the classic x-force covers yet so i met him when he was kind of on on a new kid on the rise um and he gave me a really wonderful uh very wonderful portfolio review and this is where the stroke of luck came in uh my friend mike gomez my one of my best friends uh we met in junior high in art class uh, he's the guy who took me to my first comic convention, in fact. Uh, he was there with me, and he bought a sketch from Rob, which happened to be on Rob's personal stationery. What that meant was it had Rob's docs on it, right? His, <laughs> his name, address, his phone number, his fax number. Uh, so I made, I made a, uh, an effort to, to follow up with him, and I said, hey, this is Dan, the guy you, uh, you did the portfolio review. I have your fax number. I have your fax number, and if you don't, I'm going to kill it. Uh, I just said, hey, I would, I would really like to uh, send you my progress as I go along. Would you mind continuing to uh, give me some guidance along the way? Uh, he said, okay. I became an uber pest in between the years of uh, 1989 and 1991. I would call him probably twice a week. Uh, and bother the shit out of him, but I'd always say things like, "What you drawing? What you doing? What you doing?" <laughs> uh, but I would hear things like, uh, "I got this new character named Deadpool. He's really cool. You're gonna love him." And like, hear stories of these things as they uh, they happened. Um, and uh, there, the big the big break happened in San Diego Comic Con in '91. Uh, Rob was there with Marat Michaels. And they were walking through the convention hall, very small hall back then. It's in the pl same place it is now, but it was just convention hall A, B, and part of C, right? Uh, we lost somebody. Uh, J Money. Yeah, oh. Noble Blast. Thank you for becoming a member, my friend. Uh, and and definitely get your address over to uh, to Mike so we can get this this elder drawing out to you. Uh, so so while I'm there, I'm walking. Doing the walk and talk with uh, with Rob, and oh, there's Nova Blast in the house right now. What up, Nova Blast? Hey, what up? Yo, what's up? how do your lights? How do your glasses look so cool, man? 
They're just cool glasses. Gangster. Yeah. Gangster, man. Uh, we were just on stream with Jay Money, and he just kicked the house, so I jumped on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are, uh, and we're going to cycle through because I, I got a lot of people knocking on the door. This, yeah, no worries. StreamYard sure. does is, is, is do that. So I'm going to finish up my story, and then we're going to, we're going to talk to Marshall Lee and see what's happening with him. So I talked to Rob and Marat. Rob tells me that he's going to start a company. He doesn't say he's going to leave Marvel. He says, I'm starting a company. I got this concept called Executioners. Uh, the company is going to be Eric Larson, Todd McFarlane, and myself. We're going to call it McLarfeld. Um, and eventually we're going to expand the book. <laughs> Marat's, so Marat's going to do a book. Um, and uh, what do you think about maybe doing a book? Are you know are you are, are you getting better? And I said, yeah. In fact, you know I've got some samples, uh, some some inventory stories I'm doing for DC. DC and I had been talking for the the six months. Uh, but anyway, that that eventually became Image Comics. I remember in December, he uh, he told me what was up that they were doing that thing and that uh, if I wanted to move to Southern California. Uh, and I could do that. And so I did. And I lived in a comic book store and I had to work that comic book store <laughs> to, uh, live in that comic store. And I used to have to play basketball, uh, one-on-one -on -one with people to make money. Uh, and I, I would eat Taco Bell uh, on that money, but that's where I met Dan Plagle. Uh, Dan Plagle was a customer of the store, uh, high school student at the time. And, uh, we became buddies, but that's how I got into to, to Image Comics and Broken. Nice. Basically, I, I I got to know you the exact same way you got to know Rob. That's right. You bothered the hell out of me, man. I called 411 and said, Extreme Studios, <laughs> you know, Fullerton, they gave me the number. Sure. I called. <laughs> you said I could call, and I called. I did. I did. I said, hey, man, call any time. I didn't give him the number. I'm sad. Uh, but he was clever. He was very clever, which is good. Uh uh, so yeah, and then Will Will was an intern uh, at Extreme uh, when he was what were you thirteen? I, I met you when I was twelve, and then you wow. invited me to yeah. come down that following summer. That's so and crazy. It, it, yeah, yeah. It was That's you, fun. Ben, and you, Ben, and Kite were yep. were the interns, and these guys. You know, you got you. Hopefully, you made a lot of photocopies, man. That's oh, I, I was going through the trash. I remember I was thinking <laughs> about this other day because I got a couple of cop. I was looking for some Stephen Platt stuff, yeah, and I got some eBay stuff. And I was like, wait a minute, and I was looking at Profit, the one with, where Crip first appears, that beautiful double pager. Yeah, and I remember digging through the trash of the photocopies, and I found that, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like Ooh. looking at it, and I'm like, Gangster. I've never seen this. I'm like, Dan, what's this? You're like, oh, you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> you know, yeah. and I'm like, really? And I just walked over to, to Platt's office and said, sign this. He's like, where'd you get that? Yeah. What up, Ben Wiglin? I hope you, you're doing well, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen you. I used you. to dig to those trash cans whenever I took them out looking for photocopies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Marshall Lee, what are you up to, man? I'm doing all right, man. Um, that was that was interesting what, what you said. Um, the... <laughs> The uh, the the name of Image Comics before it was <laughs> Image Comics. It was just, get this, get this it was just, We're gonna call it McLaughlin. It was just a sexy name, man. It's a sexy name, kid. Come on. Well, I, you, I, I, I told you. I told you. Uh, you know, two years ago when I did did a, a video with you. Um, yeah. I told you that you were one of my favorite uh artists on extreme studios and in image comics and when you came out with black flag i was like that's pretty rad and it's kind of cool that i mean to me there was a lot of you know you know these creators came out of uh marvel comics and you know mcfarlane was doing spider-man eric larson was doing what he was doing you know life was doing x-force you know, Jim Lee was doing X Men. Will Spertasio was doing X Men and X Factor. And you came out of the gate, and you're like, "I'm going to do Black Flag." Like, that's yeah. pretty rad. <laughs> yeah, I have fun. I have fun doing it, uh, and that's why I had to bring it back. You know, the 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 inception of Black Flag came about from the um, want to draw what I want to draw. You know, like that. I, I think we all feel that way. You know, uh, some of us, some of us like, uh, some of us n like to be told what to draw. I know a lot of artists that, that they just want to draw 
and they they want to draw and they want to make money drawing and they they don't mind being told what to draw and that's great uh i do that a lot i do that with storyboarding and fortunately uh a lot of the directors have found value uh in in what i in what i do uh as far as my imagination and let me let me ride uh paul string cheese says uh i do some fan art i'm not on social media uh paulio string cheese yeah incredible comics dude so i n c r e d b i l e c o m i c s d o o d z incredible comics dudes at gmail.com uh that's how you can uh hit me up um, i like string cheese so do i paulio you mean you want pizza without the pizza Yes, yeah, yeah. My wife, funny, funniest thing she had uh, was this meme that said, uh, "Hey, you want to eat uh, a pound of this cheese?" And you're like, "Fuck no! Why would I eat a pound of cheese?" And they're like, "How about if I roll it in bread, fry it, and give you some fucking dipping sauce?" <laughs> and everybody's like, "Okay, <laughs> cheese sticks, it is." Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's Jeez, the first thing I got from Dan. What is white that? piece of paper. Oh, uh, I asked you to burn that, man. Let me see. Let me see. Because I, I, I first met Dan at the Orange County Comic Con, and I was in line oh, with all the extreme guys, man. and he drew that for me, and he said, "This is Sniper from Black Flag." And then that, I think that two months later, I I went for that tour and met you formally. Yeah. Um. But this was the first thing. This is when I first met you. You drew this for me. Yeah, that, that, no, I recognize it. That's that 1994 profile. Uh, that's just I, every time I see him, uh, and I can, there's nothing I can offer you. Uh, you know, Will happens to own the original artwork of the Triple Gate full cover. Uh, I gave it to him way back when, uh, and uh, so I can say to him, "Listen, man." Destroy that on camera, and I'll give you a new one. I know, but it's got a lot of sentimental value to me. I mean, I, it just means yeah. a lot to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, there's, I there's a photocopy I stole though. There's one that survived. Oh, dude, we need that. Let me see. That. We need that. Let's see that one. And this one, one. And this one is actually that's on the cool. stationery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that's that's what's dope. up right there. That's what's up right there. But we need that. We need that for uh, for the the behind the scenes stuff when we put everything together. That's and then, really uh, good. Yo, Dan, and then it looks like you were drawing the Expendables. You gotta hang on to all this stuff. We'll go deep into the work and all for the Expendables. Uh, yeah, you know that's I mean? that's essentially it, man. Yeah, the Expendables before the Expendables. Like, yeah, I. Whenever I see like, what's that game? Overwatch. Yeah. You know, I go, guys, I did that. I did that 20 years, 22 years before you did, you know, and it's basically, it's, it, it's the salad bar of cool, right? The fucking Dan, soldier. Dan, isn't there a guy mm -hmm. that works at Blizzard that used to work at Image? Probably. Well, he used to work at Blizzard oh. and he was the art director on Diablo. Yeah. And he also is one of the godfathers of computer coloring, a guy by the name of Chris Littner of liquid fame and liquid was formed by chris and arn and they got their start at extreme studios so that's uh that's 100 percent right yeah i know they colored plaid stuff right what's that did they color they colored a lot of plaid stuff right oh yeah all the soul saga stuff they colored uh joe mad's battle chasers i remember uh, talking to those guys one time because they were in like i was talking to plaid and they was trying to get be his background artist so he wouldn't have yeah. to draw all the buildings yeah i was like another one of those this close to like doing something really awesome yeah Didn't but happen. i mean and here we are now i mean that's the thing is like when there when i used to uh i don't know if you guys are weird like this but uh what up sketch therapy sketches in the house oh hey sketch uh, therapy sketch in the house what up sketch uh, I don't know if you guys used to do this when you were little kids, but I used to do this all the time. I had hopes and dreams, and my hopes and dreams were to work for Marvel Comics. Right. And I would 
say things to myself like if I was walking towards a corner and you know cars go by and you can't see the cars I'd go if the next car is white <laughs> I'm gonna be drawing Marvel Comics <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys did that shit but I used to do oh, yeah. that when yep. I was a kid yep. what, was, what was your most what was the biggest one you wanted to draw though Oh, dude, I, I'm a Spider-Man junkie. Yeah, Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. You did Spider-Man, right? I did draw Spider-Man, but the thing that sucks is uh, the the issue that they gave me had Spider-Man in two panels. Uh, oh. The entire thing. I, I drew a splash page. I have it right here. I actually have the original uh, in my, my portfolio. Splash page of Stan Lee uh, knitting, sitting in a, a spider's web with spider-man and goes let me tell you an old yawn true believer uh, <laughs> tells you the story <laughs> of uh the proto gobble so i drew you know captain stacy i drew norman osborne i drew peter parker as a 10 year old uh but i got to draw him spider-man on page one and i got to draw him on page 22 this big so i never really got to draw spider-man um, you know, I've, I've loved Spider-Man ever since I could. Uh, and, uh, oh, what does this say? Arthur says, no, no, yes, no, please. you're looking at this all wrong. Draw a new profile, pick a sniper for a then and now and send it to Will with a promise to always show both when showing them off. Well, that's please. not a terrible idea. That's not a terrible I idea. Will, I will buy that for a dollar. But then <laughs> five years from now, I'm going to have to have a third one you know like uh-huh. you have to burn them both how uh, about this one dan how, how many of these are out there the, the typical rob you know the bad rock robs uh those yeah uh-huh. the bad rock well that was the, that was the thing in 94 uh because <laughs> we were we were jamming because you, you could know, draw fast so boom. you had to draw a, a drawing as, almost as quick as you could do your signature because mm-hmm. uh convention sketches were free back then Yep. Uh, and there wasn't the, the, the eBay craze. There wasn't all that other stuff. So uh, you'd have like a hundred people or more, sometimes a thousand waiting and they want a signature and a sketch. Right. And you can't sit and like break out a dope ass sketch. You kind of got to do this thing. And like uh, you end up drawing a lot of profiles. He could do, he could do that. He did that in five seconds. Like, whoosh, 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 done. Oh yeah. Exactly. Did Bob ever give you any advice on how to do those, or or was it just no, no. just draw whatever you can? Yeah, you was drawing our own style, but like it, we were all kind of doing it by the seat of our pants, right? So we, I remember going to this convention in uh, Pomona, uh, and it was when Travis Shray was there and Will Spertasco. You met that show. Yeah, you know the show. Yeah. And, uh, it was all of like us young guys, the new guys, Scott Clark, Marat, like it was our first show and we were seeing some of the pros do these sort of profile doodles and we're like, we better do that too. So like we thought it was like part of the, the experience, like you don't just sign, you know? Uh, so it was just maybe a monkey see monkey do situation. I don't know. I don't know. Michael Beacon, what are you doing over there? Uh, I just got this, uh, little piece of concept art I drew today. Let's take a look. October thing. Let us take a look. All right. That's cool. Yeah, nice. so it's one of the legions. Yeah, cool. uh, it's, this is one of the villain uh, faction soldiers for Seven Legions. They'll be here in a future issue. Uh, they're called the uh, Brothers in Arms. They're yeah. sort of a – they're pretty much like a uh, communist sort of faction, real evil and stuff. I got their logo up here, uh, you know. Sim and I oh, talked. Cool. Yeah. Um, is his name Mark? Are those the <laughs> hey, what? Tommy Mark. That's cool. Yeah. So why, it's like why two outstretched hands with holes in them? Well the, the outstretched hands sort right. of sort of thing is like it's like they're you know offering uh infinite resources and everything and like the those little hole looking spots, that's just sort of like so like when you look back from it, it sort of has the appearance of like a uh sinister looking face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, uh, school or something. Yeah. So, like most communist agencies, it's like a it's a welcoming name or symbol. Yeah. To cover up what they really do or make it sound palatable. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're Saddam, like, when he would name yeah. like his intelligence agency like Community <laughs> Outreach or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Like, and they, they sort of team up with a few other factions. They call themselves the Hybrid Liberation Front, making them seem like they're, you know, this sort of civil rights sort of thing for, you know, hybrids, which you are know, already treated fairly. Yeah. But they put the liberation in there to, to hey, yeah. we're liberating you, even though we're going to oppress you. Oh, yeah. They, they you know, they wind up, in, you know, enslaving a few different types of uh, hybrids, you know, to use them as child soldiers and such. But so, yeah, so they're, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit, I, I took some inspiration from, from some stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Uh, been reading some books on it. Uh, African. That's what we got to do. do. I mean, I use I use Pinterest. It's one of the things I do. Yeah. Uh, like when I'm I'm taking a shit, really. Uh, is yeah. I read the Bible and I look at Pinterest. Yeah. Uh, and when I look at Pinterest, I'll I'll just kind of absorb a topic. Like I'll look at Mech, and I'll just yeah. kind of go, "Oh, that's cool. That's cool." And I'll uh, try to keep a digital file in my mind you know yeah jason bascom what is this my friend what is uh, that it's nice. a bad samurai some adam c in the chat right. asked if anybody else drew along with you and i'm like yeah i drew a bad samurai that's piece. not a bad samurai that's yeah. a bad samurai look at that hair thanks dude. i could I, cool. thanks. I, could, I could do better i just did it reminds quick. me of trent canoe art well thank you wow that's a huge I, I think he I looks thinking like thinking laird and eastman to me oh that's what i see every time i see it i, I was yeah. thinking of sam keith i dig it I love oh, you guys are uh, overly flattery to me, but uh, nah, nah, thank nah. you though. No, Adam C asked, and I and you're shipping soon, aren't you? I saw you got some boxes. Uh, well, the boxes right behind me are actually going to get burned because they're all horrible. Uh, <laughs> they were I wasn't supposed to get them, but I did get the real books today. Oh, so man. I'm just waiting on the patches, and then I got a color dance card when I get it, and then get that out. So. Well, thanks uh, for saying. I gotta get. I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that. Are you gonna, get, cool. get no, are you gonna put uh, in mind? Are you gonna doodle a little pigeon like uh, Frankie did for me on his? Oh uh, <laughs> man, you're asking a lot. I don't know if I could do the pigeon. That'd be, uh, <laughs> that's an hours and hours of uh, drawing. I mean, Frankie's a writer. He he doodled me a pigeon. All right, I'll get I'll get you a pigeon. I'll get you a pigeon. It'll be the best pigeon ever. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look one more time. What you got going on here? Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, yeah. What is this guy? A paladin? Yeah. So he's sort of a uh, he's one of my Sweet. dwarves. Uh, he's they're sort of like uh, Norse inspired, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, like a high tech sort of uh, Viking sort of thing. You know, he's got like a jetpack on back there. You can barely tell though, but uh, he's got like a rocket powered axe there. He pilots a uh, Nordic style mech. Actually, have a picture of him in issue two of Seven Legions. Here, there he is when he's oh, oh, yeah. to give him a bit yeah, more yeah, velocity like, so he can punch through things. Yep, and he yeah, actually uh, on uh, sevenlegions.com. Yeah, yeah, so if they want to yeah, find you. So, sevenlegions.com, you can go there to learn more about the universe. But Seven Legions is on Indiegogo. Uh, it's you know, you buy it if you buy it tonight, I'll package it and ship it out tomorrow. That's amazing. So yeah, we're we're uh, we fulfilled all the stuff that's already been ordered, and we can fulfill as soon as you, you know, as soon as you place the order. So, and you know, if anyone if anyone backs before you know tomorrow morning, you can have this this drawing or this drawing. Dang. Yeah, the first two. So yeah, yeah. all right. Hi, kitty. Nice. <laughs> Making sure I'm spelling this correctly. Oh, there it is. There is the, oh, yeah. the seven legions with the sweet samurais. Yeah. Uh, speaking of samurais, right? Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at your campaign. I want people to check it out. Uh, okay. If they haven't seen it yet, so uh, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, seven legions. An orphan becomes a samurai who takes on the greatest threat that the seven legions have ever faced. Yep. Uh, you, Michael, uh, with some really epic, epic art. Uh, let's uh, let's give the trailer a watch. I'm a trailer squad. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, that first trailer is a bit long, but there's the second one in there. Right, let's go for the let's go for the second one. Then. There we yeah. go. <laughs> second one says same. Oh. No. Oh. Huh. 
Okay. I, I thought I had the shorter one on there still. Okay. I got to check my contribution to see if I back. I back so many things that I, I just can never remember. I think I backed. Yeah, this. I remember you backed it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Sweet. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think you got the print tier with it too. Oh, cool. Is this the, the first? Here the we go. Serve the seven yeah. For two years. Maintaining the peace between the Allied Empire. Until we uncovered a plot. Oh, yeah, these are my old colors on this. To destroy them from within. Yeah. But before he could warn the others, he vanished. Leaving only his memories behind in the dreams of Hiko. An orphan who became a samurai in a time of chaotic civil war. That would pit his clan against their former allies. Now Hiko must choose between fighting the war that threatens the family that took him in or facing the galactic threat he is destined to end when he barely knows his own world. Set in a universe where history as we know it is the continuation of a much larger story where humanity had traveled among the stars for thousands of years until the leaders of man, under the guidance of Lucifer, betrayed the other races to gain the powers of the Seraphim. These human nations were defeated, stranded on Earth, with only the simplest tools to rebuild them. Over time, they would forget the other races, aside from the myths and legends we know today. Now the Earth is protected by the Seven Legions, until humanity can once again travel to the stars. This is just yeah. the start of the Seven Legions series. A sci-fi, fantasy, historical fiction, space opera, Star Wars mixed with Skyrim, and an Akira Kurosawa film. It's a universe that's been in the works for 13 years. Our goal is $3,000. Hmm. To fund the art for issue two and the print runs of issues oh, one yeah, this is and the start of the campaign. All backers will receive oh, is it? books signed. Hey, that, oh, that, that video was when it your was name on the thank you page. at the start. Yeah. $20 gets you the books. 50 gets you the books and print. But $100 gets you drawn in as an enemy of the Seven Legions. 150 gets you drawn in as a soldier of the Seven Legions. And five hundred. It's cool. I love seeing the, the, the beginnings, though, man. This is great. Oh, yeah. With a chance of returning. Funding is just the beginning. When we get to our goal, we can move on to the stretch goals. Adding swag items, bookmarks, trading cards, buttons, dog tags, and bomber patches. Additional art prints, up to six by talented artists. If we really smash the stretch goals, we can move forward to issues three, four, and five, ultimately ending with all five issues gathered in a trade paper bag. So pack the seven legions today and get in on this exciting new epic. Let me grab that link and put that in the, uh, okay. the chat as well. Yeah. Still have a chance for the stretch goals. Oh, there is, man. Lord Crackhead, man. He's already yeah. on it, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's Him and Frog G are, are Link Masters. Oh, well, my, my dad's name yeah. is Pico. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought so to see that, huh? Sure, man. Yeah, Holy so smokes. a lot of those callers that were on that video were the old stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so that's, see it. Yeah, so this is like, this is what they look like now. So, nice. big nice, improvement man. over what was on that trailer. Well, that's the thing, man. We, we there, There's a thing called uh, Kanai, right? Uh, constant and never-ending uh, improvement. Yeah. That's you know. Yeah, it's like, when I, when I first did the colors on issue one, I was just like, you know, I thought they were good. And then I got hired onto two other gigs, got done with those. And I got, I looked at on back. I was like, I can do so much better than this now. <laughs> so, yeah. but, but yeah. So what, the, what's next for you? Um, right now I'm working on uh, colors for tales for the nat verse. Uh, that's Sims project. Yeah. Um, and, uh, next spring, I'm aiming to continue the Seven Legion series with. I'm hoping to do issues three, four, and five on the next campaign. So, next. Wow. yeah, that'll be you're about. Gonna do, you're going to do three issues on one campaign. Yeah, that's that's what I'm aiming oh, to do. I'm, I'm, aiming, four, I'm aiming to get uh, most of that, uh, most of those pages paid for and done by then. Right. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so then, yeah, just. Just got to get the money together to pay for them and get that out. Excellent, man. Well, yeah. thank you so much for uh, coming to the show. I'm gonna, hey, uh, I'm gonna thanks have to get the moment. Yeah. I gotta open up, yeah. uh, open up a spot. But uh, thank you uh, for coming through. I'll thank go. You open book. it up. I'll. No, Clint. I mean, uh, Charlie, man. Uh, no, you're, you're oh, not no, I, going. 
You're not. I, yeah, I, I actually, I actually got to get ready to go uh, head to bed. But yeah, all thanks right, for, thanks for letting me on here. <laughs> get yeah, out no of here. <laughs> Before you go, I wanted to ask you something. But thank you, Michael. Uh, thank right. you for coming through, man. Um, hey. I'm gonna karate chop you. You down with that? Sure. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, thank you as always for coming through, uh, Charlie. I keep saying it, but like my, I have two Twitters. Hit me up on the the, the mm, couch doodle couch ones. Uh, I want to do a, a a stream with you where we talk about art. Okay, yeah. you down with that? You down with that? Because yeah, uh, tomorrow Sunday, um, what's that? I could talk. It's not going to be safe to ask me a simple question. I will talk. And talk. That's if fine. you want to just talk art, I do. I want to talk a, like. Basically, what I want to do is Love is uh, maybe do a a, a stream where uh, do you, can you when you're able to share your screen when you draw, right? No, I've never done that. I I, I draw in Photoshop, so I don't know. Is it is it easy to, to grab some well, something yeah, you're to in, share well, it that you're way in with? You're in Streamyard right now, so if you were to go to share screen and then share application. We would see what you were drawing. Well, right? what browser is he using? Mm. Unless you're yeah. using traditional. If you draw traditional, then it doesn't work so much. <laughs> well, he said he's working yeah, in Photoshop. I, right? Is he? Are you in Chrome Photoshop, or Safari? Right. Uh, Safari. Okay. Chrome works. This, no, this is through my eye. I'm I'm just a drunk. I'm just a drunk with an iPad at the point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. your phones are connected. I was gonna say we could and draw. My iPad together, is right? over here. My screen is over here. Yeah, no problem. This is, well, this this is the well, Cintiq. All good. What we'll do then is is uh, maybe either tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, I'll figure out what the word of the day is, and then after the word of the day, uh, we'll have you come in, and you and I will just talk some shop because we have a lot of crossover as far as our influences are concerned. Um, you you're coming at things it. from a, a, a different angle. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, I just, uh, I'm a big fan of your stuff. I'm a big fan of you. Uh, you know, people need to follow you on, uh, Twitter. They need yeah, to follow you. Uh, sure. they need to go get fatal, uh, and they need to, uh, throw money at you cause you're fucking awesome. <laughs> um, so, you know, thank you, sir. Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, I dig, I dig watching, um, the spontaneous sketches. That's, uh, that's phenomenal what you did tonight is beautiful somebody brought a word like Thanks, that man. i've had to i mean to watch it especially to watch a traditional there's something way more impressive about the traditional here's on paper and i've had to do drawing shows where um they uh they projected what i was drawing on this cintiq yeah to the walter i i think get gatorade hired me and i drew nba players at an NBA party yeah. for a Gatorade launch. And uh, it was it was so much fun. And they put me a fur coat and they put ice around me. It was the Gatorade, the Gatorade Ice House. And people, you yeah. know, chit-chatted. I, I, met, I met Clyde Drexler. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Oh, Clyde Drexler, man. This is so That's awesome. crazy. And he was that's watching. Awesome. I haven't heard that name but in a minute. at the same minute. time, I, no, at the same time, I'm sitting there drawing on the on a tablet and it's mm. projected on the wall there's something so lost that no matter what you do digitally the end product is fine where that's the point right get it out there sure. print sure it, but, but at the end there's no I mean, as a young person i was always i was so adamant and i'm only going to draw and paint on canvases and that's going to be it man i'm never going to touch a computer and that yeah. was some that was in 2001 and then I started working in advertising, and I would be drawing again, 360 marker pads. I guess I got oh, a drawing wow. paper. We'll scan the computer. Oh, yeah. And then the Fang stuff disappeared too. And then it was like, this is all we do. All right, all right. Yeah. So you get to run in to catch the uh, the nine train with a, a wet painting on your own, and so then you're going to meet somebody's deadline. It's true. I mean, that's why I end up doing, doing the hybrid where I pencil everything digitally. I get the speed out of it. Like all my storyboard work, all my uh, quote unquote uh, work work, I do digitally because it's not it's not for um, production. Right. Like there's the, there's 
they're they're not going to make a book of my Lexus storyboards or my you know bounty <laughs> paper towel storyboards. They're just not. There you go. You know, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. you know what's weird? Those drawings that you did for Lexus, there are such a clue. To, wow, how good it gets! Just, just yeah. it gets raw and fast, and it's just, man, you laying down stuff. And, uh, my mentor, Simon Ellis, amazing uh, advertising illustrator, referred to it as doing a thousand one finger push-ups. Man, you're just you're just working it out, just every angle, everything, and you draw all those things. And when you turn around and you want to focus that energy into something else, you got a whole other frequency beam. So, yeah, uh, it's true. You got to do it. You it's gotta, true, man. Uh, well, dude, I'm gonna thanks. go eat nachos. Dude, fuck you, man. Uh, I wish hey, I could. I have burritos. I can't, I can't for, eat after nine. I, can't I have burritos after. for dinner, so yeah. Okay. Hold on, I got my, I gotta see my wife a text. Did you put on the nachos. What are you doing, intermittent yeah. fasting? Yeah, he's gonna charge you all. I'm so yeah, hungry. yeah, intermittent we'll fasting. You. Exactly right. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Thanks, Dan. Bring it, somebody it worked, else in. It worked perfectly for me. It uh, worked. It worked perfectly for me. And then I had my operation, and then uh, I, uh, you know, fell down uh, the downward spiral. I did. I fell off the yeah. wagon, and I drank, and I ate gummies, and I loved it. Uh, but <laughs> so good, but I, uh, I put yeah. See, I put twenty six <laughs> pounds on like that. Uh, yeah, it's easy to do. You know, but when I'm intermittent fasting and I'm eating right and I'm not putting uh, a lot of booze in me and not a lot of sugar and I'm not eating carbs and and all that. Uh, I feel better and and I'm more efficient. But right now I'm going through the the grumps, you know. Uh, I feel you, man. I've been doing some fitness, man. I did leg days the other day, and for three days I've been like, I can't walk anymore. <laughs> that's a leg day fucking sucks, but that's yeah. a a good way of getting uh, testosterone uh, back in your in your system, though. I do uh, two leg days a week. Two. Uh, yeah. Uh, so on Mondays I do the deadlifts and I do the squats, and then I do more, you know, like I lunges and stuff like that on Friday or Saturday. That's but, just crazy, man. Yeah, I but, man, the deadlifts are like the best, the best thing you can do for your body. You know, yeah. Deadlifts are awesome. Deadlifts really? and squats, yeah, yeah. Deadlifts in particular. I feel um, like every morning when I wake up, I'm kind of deadlifting. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, if you want to, if you want to bulk up fast and you want to get strong fast, deadlift heavy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just want to get stronger. That's yeah, I got, thing. A, I mean, I got one a bad a bad knee, so I can't do a lot of the leg stuff. So a lot of my yeah. stuff is like uh, core to arms and stuff like that. But I try to do a little bit of legs that don't really blow out my knee. Right, and yeah. dead deadlifts is, is a lot on the knees, and it's unfortunate yeah. because it's it's a compound exercise. It does your whole body. Right. Yeah. So you're just you're just getting raw strength from it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Charlie, man, now I want beer and nachos. And don't do it, man. Talking don't about it. it. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. This is October. It's only day two. I know what Phil does uh, for exercises. Jiggle. He, he will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, does. he takes his hand off, his glove off, and he slaps a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Face. No glove. No glove. No glove. No glove. No glove. No glove. We saw it. No glove. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, something about Phil that reminds me of uh, the, the dude Antoine from Deuce Bigelow. Mm, yeah, the, the male gigolo. I remember the that, movie, but I don't remember Antoine. <laughs> he was I don't remember that, Antoine. He was the one that uh, Rob, the Rob Schneider was understudying for when he fucked oh, up the yeah, department. Yeah, Eddie Griffith, yeah. right? What you got there, Mr. Plagal? Yeah, 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 yeah. from the mummy. Let's see. Oh, dope. Oh, Masquerade. Masquerade. Oh, there you go. Masquerade. Look at them big breasts. <laughs> like yeah, the there's a little bit in there. Big hat, big breasts, good stuff. Big breasts. That's <laughs> what he told me he liked, so I was putting it in there. Nice. Yeah, that I, was, I, uh, David, David Allen Greer. That's what we all like. Yep. <laughs> so he played uh, Tiny in jail. So the gloves that Phil wears, how are they acid resistant? I mean, I'm a little curious about that <laughs> because everything else will melt, but the gloves, I mean, are they lined with some kind of like specific alloy or something? He's Wait. like, it's a comic. Shut up. <laughs> oh, he legit. He legit. He legit we can know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somebody said it. I mean, I don't know if it's true. Is it true, Phil? Phil, you're muted. 
I know he had poor hand circulation, and I know his brother <laughs> can help. I don't know. I was muted. Yeah. So why was I muted? Uh, Dan, I know, you man. Awesome, it's by like the way. You unmute you yourself, me. man. Uh, Dan, you showed off uh, the chest tonight. Uh, now, Clint, you have yep. a campaign. This is the campaign here. It's the Pirate Queen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell, us, tell us a little bit about the Pirate Queen. Tell us, uh, you, the, it's brand new to Indiegogo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We started last week. Uh, my art, uh, Mandy Summers is doing the writing on the main story. Okay. Uh, sci-fi adventure with a hot chick as the lead. Crisscross in the galaxy. Uh, kind of a art-wise, I'd say mildly influenced by Art Adams, J. Scott Campbell kind of vibe going on. Yeah, I see, but, yeah, I can, uh, see the Campbell influence. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah Campbell's Campbell. pretty obvious on the covers. So it reminds me of that cliffhanger ad. Yeah. Remember the cliffhanger ad where they had uh, Joe Mad doing Red Monica? Yeah, mm -hmm. all all mm -hmm. the '90s stuff. That's my Delicious. main influence. Like that's what I, you know, when that's comics great. hit me in the sweet spot. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, just cool. kind of fun action adventure, taking a lot of uh, fun That's jabs it. at all the Jay Scott Campbell Star Wars here. and Star Trek has kind of spewed out the last few years, and uh, a little bit on the risque vibe. So you know, if you like hot chicks, uh, you'll probably enjoy what's happening in this book. But yeah, I gotta make sure Harrison doesn't see this. Uh, <laughs> No, he's he's recently discovered that he really uh, well. It's the right age. Uh, it's like when I discovered Wonder Woman, right? Uh, she made me feel funny, and now yep. he's like he's asking My me. My pants are tight. Yeah, Dad, Dad, I got this uh, this cool show I watch called uh, My Hero Academia, and see this plushie of this girl. Can I have her? I'm like <laughs> what? And now she's like the the screen on it. He's got a little iPod Touch that he plays Minecraft on. He put a, a desktop of this girl on there. It's uh -oh. an anime girl, but like that's what he's all about now, uh, which is funny because he's gonna. I was, be, a, he's I was partial to the Victoria's Secret catalog myself. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong yeah, with that, was, man. Yeah, it came stuff. right to the house. You know they're readily available. Oh, Stephanie yeah. Seymour. Those were those were easy. The, Good. Uh, I don't know if they're the old days, but I guess they are the old days. Sears catalog. Old days for us. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I, start I, borrowing your Intron Depot books. Oh dang! Intron Depot, I got that yeah. right. There. Atsumi Shiro, man. Bam. Pedro says it there right it here. Pirate Queen around. will make you a real boy. Oh, there's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> we'll hold it up. I'm a real boy. Is this? Can you even find this anymore, or is it still in print? That's I don't right. know. I don't, I don't know. know. I think they're kind of perpetually in print in Japan. I don't know if you're here in the U.S. though. That, remi that reminds yeah. me of Lolita or Ghost in the Shell or something. But these were, that was one of the books that was always floating around Extreme, that and the Capcom one. Yep. You know, it was on Capcom everyone's desk. Capcom was harder to get, though. Mm -hmm. But everyone had those. I had never even seen those. That's crazy. Oh. Looks good. We got a project here called The Keeper, the Keeper. Uh, by Richard Embry. You Looks definitely fun. want to check this out. Uh, sign up for exclusive offers and prizes. Uh, this is a mailing list that you can back. A horror story for hardcore fans. I mean, look at this guy. Uh, Robert Lasardo, he's the actor. Uh, I've, I've seen him before. You've seen him before. I would highly recommend you go on IMDb, look up uh, Robert Lasardo, and you'd be like, I know this dude. Uh, I can he tell comes which up actor that is from that drawing. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And I could tell just from the tattoos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so Forest Publishing, that's our good friend Richard Embry. You guys want to sign up for this? I'm going to pop uh, pop the link in the chat so you can uh, take a, 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 a gander and sign up. Sign up for it so you can get, uh, get on board with that stuff. And uh, somewhere, somewhere, uh, Incredible Comics has a, uh, has a campaign. But also, hmm. uh, my buddy, my buddy Cecil, no? my buddy Cecil yeah, has a campaign. Hello, yeah, hello. 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 Uh, hello. And he's got a campaign where he's uh, he's he's got this book. I don't Cecil. know if it's supposed to be him. It is, but it it's isn't. Uh, this is uh, his campaign here. It's Cash Grab, the graphic novel. Uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm really excited about it, but I'm especially excited about uh, never getting this, it. This oh. book here, the the dirt work, dirt worm dug. Uh, it's a kid's book, book that could be told to a kid. 
Uh, but as an adult, you read it and you realize they're not on the train. They are in a poop. Uh, they, th- this is a piece of corn. That's a tapeworm. Corn. Uh, these are disgusting things that are amazing. Uh, so you, you definitely want to uh, check out Cash Grab. Uh, you also want to check out, let's see here, let me type it in, uh, Warts and All by Ethan Van Skyver. Got me an executive box on that one. Yeah, I was I was fortunate enough to get on board with the executive uh, box myself. Uh, he should number those bad boys. That's how yeah, he goes. should. That's how you get. That's how you keep them uh, limited. Because uh, originally it was five hundred, now it's a thousand. I'm like, but hey, uh, I like the five hundred aspect. But I get it. More more people wanted them. So well, uh, didn't the up. first five hundred go super quick too? Yeah, yeah. sixteen minutes. Sixteen yeah. minutes, guys. That's crazy. That's like the lag time of a chat. Yeah. So. Sixteen yeah. minutes. Oh no, it is lag time because I I uh, I went to order it immediately when he said here's the link and i was backer number 256 yeah yeah that's the lag <laughs> right there yeah you know uh that was uh that's that insanity. was bananas you know uh here we have what is the 500 dollar x flexible goal that's crazy he did okay <laughs> it's an accident you guys, here no it's not an accident I'm oh i thought you, he did it by accident i'm gonna teach you guys a little uh little little uh little tricks okay baseball i'm gonna turn this off and it's then i'm gonna mega uh, multiple we'll get, we'll get back to get once back you meet the goal thing. then they help you right yeah exactly because then you're at like ten thousand percent of your goal and indiegogo thinks you're like hot shit right there it is mm-hmm. i'll have to say it i have to say it that's exactly right you have faith in yourself and you do that and uh you go you go uh and do that, that do you make it f- flexible or fixed flexible uh I, I believe uh or no i think he made it fixed uh and that i think that was the accident was the fixed part okay uh but either way it makes you like uh here we go look at black flag for example oh they the goal is gone uh, our goal was five thousand dollars no i made it three thousand and we, yeah. we did that and it and it um well, it's a good thing. Yeah, it it uh, it helped out a lot. Um, oh, we're not at, far away from two hundred. Yeah. Does it matter? No, we're not. We're not. Is we're it- a, a little, little, uh, little. Well, a bit. Ten thousand eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred and one. Ten thousand eight hundred and one dollar away from <laughs> uh, a new bunny suit. Honestly, that one dollar is bugging me. <laughs> it is. It's <laughs> bugging me. Girl suit. All right. One dollar. Yeah. So, you know, if I had a purple gorilla suit, it I wouldn't be able. It'd be a lot hotter. It would be a lot uh, more difficult to be getting in and out of. I'm so happy this one. I can just kind of throw on the hood and wrap the the arms and legs around me like a hug. Yeah, I like the bunny uh, thing, man. Yeah, I'll get another bunny suit. That's I think awesome. like make it maybe black. I have black, but like I have a red dyed black flag. On, as there on you the go. Hood. That'd be cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. I like that. That'd be, That'd be pretty awesome. cool. Military spec bunny suit. Yeah. Man, camouflage bunny suit. There you go. That'd Wouldn't be, be able cool. to see you. Uh, the stealth Jasper, bunny suit. Uh, no more shirts and shot glasses. Uh, there are shirts and hats available. Shot glasses, I'm getting uh, more numbers because uh, we broke past that number that of orderable shot glasses. And now people are saying they want more. So I got to see if uh, I can make that feasible. Uh, but yeah, there, there, the shirt should still be on there as a uh, add-on. You, you know, Stefani Renee's campaign dropped. Uh, Thomas oh, Moyer. Yeah. yeah, I'm back yeah, in the right. on that. Yeah, Moyer, I wanna, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get him on here. The the thing that's gotta happen because a lot of people they ask to come on the show, uh, and and sometimes I'm like, yeah, cool, let's do that. Let's make it a, a an all an all shill show. But like, what I want to be able to do is I want to do some drawing. Uh, and then and then bring bring people on, right. so I'm I'm definitely down for that. Uh, I I know I want to get him on. I, doesn't he need a translator though? Doesn't he speak? Uh, he, he types in English. I don't oh, know okay. if he's a, yeah. Someone had uh, said, hey, 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 let me get him on with this translator. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, unless he uses a translator when he's typing, I, I don't know. I would think that would make it very difficult. Yeah. Well, I I did that once. I had a. Uh, a long time ago, there was this this French magazine called Comic Box, and they sent me all these questions in English, 
and I thought I would be kind and reply in French. So I, uh, I ended up typing my answers and then putting them through Google Translate. And apparently, uh, <laughs> shitty fucking French, man. <laughs> yes, the best. Yeah. Uh, artists have, yes, sir. Uh, there is, there, there were shot, uh, black flag shot glasses. There was one with a shield and one with the round shield. And then uh, you can take shots with your buddy. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, more than likely bringing on some more. But like I said, I got to talk to the manufacturer and see what I can do about numbers and stuff. Uh, Stefani is on Bing Cross channel right now. Seems he may type in English. OK, but for the most part, he's speaking in Portuguese and someone is translating. Okay. There you go. So there you have it. There you that, that's what I heard. I'm Portuguese. So it'd be great to hear some Portuguese. Mm -hmm. um, and Sketch Therapy is an excellent translator. Yep. Uh, so that, that is excellent. Um, but yeah, getting back, uh, uh, Marshall, we were, I'm going to send you some tracks. Uh, I got right now for the mixtape. I mean, I've written like a hundred and something, but as far as the, wow. the mixtape is concerned, there's about 14 of them that I like. Um, uh, and from those 14, I'll probably cut them down a little bit and I'm still in the process of writing new ones. Um, and King KDI says never use Google Translate. But I'll tell you what's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you guys have iPhones, uh, but the, the new Translate feature in iOS 14 is uh, very impressive. Let me see if I, I can find it. Well, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you can do it on the iPad too. It just happens to be in, in 14. So, like, for example, if I say – to uh, this, and this is one of the the uh, the. Let's put English. Let's do Spanish to English, okay? Uh, and then I do this. El burro sabe más que yo. Donkey knows more than I. That is right. Uh, I was not speaking Chinese. <laughs> It said, were you speaking Chinese? Oh, that's because I changed them both to Chinese. So recent uh, English. Done. No, this one is Spanish here. Done. And then English. They're like, were you speaking Chinese? I was not. So. Savoya cortada, por favor. Cut onion, please. Cut onion, please. Cut onion, yeah. I like onion. Yeah. That's what I say. That's what I say to all the ladies. No. <laughs> cut onion, please. Yeah, cut onion. Savoya cortada, por favor. No, it sounds good. <laughs> I noticed when Snogas was on, he's streaming from his iPad. He was having the same issues I was having when I streamed from mine. So I'm thinking it's probably that and not the reason why I'm cut out all the time and not my internet. It, it could be. Uh, and if are you going? Are you doing it through Safari? Uh, I'm I, I'm doing it through uh, StreamYard whenever I stream. Well, yeah, but uh, what I'm so. saying is on, on an iPad, you can download Chrome. You can download Yeah, I think Opera. It do, I'm doing it through Safari, I think. Try yeah. to grab the link and paste it into Chrome and see what happens. It may right. work better because it's uh, – StreamYard, even on, on a, a laptop, has uh, – it, it's spotty when you're using Safari. So it could just be Safari's uh, whatever – all right, I'll try. I'll try because on a topic list, I'll try doing it uh, through Chrome then this coming week. So cool. I'll see how it goes. Yeah. Every time I, I see that, it, I see the word topless, and every time I see the word topless, I think of two thoughts. I think of Linda Carter. So there's what I want, and yeah. then I think of I think of Wolverine. Yeah, and that's what you and get. I, I, <laughs> yes, it's what I get. <laughs> it's what I do not want. Uh, None of us want yeah. that. <laughs> Well, the the epic beard I think makes up for it. So yeah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> gun, gun, ass, fragaboom, whatever happened to the town search doohickey thingamabob? You did. Uh, it's still there. This is for Black Flag zero point five, and it's actually a conversation that uh, Will Perdomo and I have to have as far as getting that rolling. Because right now there's a uh, twenty four pages that we have. Uh, and we need to do inventory of what of the things we got and the things we need. And once we get the things we need, we'll be reaching out to the people in the talent uh, contest. 
Uh, even though it wasn't really a talent, I mean, the talent search, uh, we'll be reaching out to them to get uh, some stuff. But guys like uh, David Pai- uh was a bright, shiny light. Guys like Christopher John, uh, oh, bright, yeah. shiny light. Uh, like Christopher John, for example. Uh, let me see. I, I got a, a, a piece a piece by him recently. This isn't for the book. Uh, I thought it could be cool for the book, but he, he drew a really cool uh, pink bunny. He he's on topic list quite often. Nice. Is he? Money. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's great. Like, he's he's awesome. great. Uh, and he, I love the way he draws. I love his style. Yeah. Um, trying to get him on the show. Uh, he it's just his work hours are crazy. Yeah. From what I understand, yeah. but he hides. He does fun stuff, right? He hides twenty threes, right? So there's a twenty three there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another twenty three right here. You can see the the two mm-hmm. and the three. He's so obviously the color. Who, What's who that? Does color? Who does the color? Is it him? Because he, he doesn't tell me. That. He doesn't tell me. He just says he has a guy, and whoever uh, his guy is is pretty dope. Uh, but yeah, the, so we 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 see guys like him. Uh, there's a uh, you know there's uh, Hands of Sin a guy named uh, Michael Acker uh, mm. who's in there that uh, we found uh, actually through the on Facebook. There's a Couch Doodles group. And they do a, a weekly drawing, character drawing. Oh, yeah, he's always winning. He's always winning because he's fucking awesome. Yeah, like every week it's like him. Hey, let me just pull out my fat meat and slap it down on the table. I, I stopped checking it because like, it's always him. Yeah, I've, always, yeah, I've, I've known for him other for people. a long time, Dan. Yeah, I know. He's local. Yeah, I, I've known him longer than I've known you, which was surprising. I ran into him That's insane. At, uh, the convention. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Uh, Peter S. Uh, S. Fat, should dopes like me try out? Everybody should try out. You, you send that to uh, I see you try out. So that's Incredible Comics Universe. I see you try out hub, T R Y O U T H U B, at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, Matt, Matt and I review the art and Will and I talk about story. But, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of the new stories are going to be generated by Will. Uh, and we're going to be talking to some some other writers. Maybe even Phil Phil Diaz may may have one. It just all, it all depends on the. Uh, well, hell no. I know, I know. I have to work it out. Whenever you fucking, son of a bitch. whenever you fucking uh, Latin br- fucking muchachos uh, have to fucking slug it out. I'm not going to let that jiggle up. So there's a me. word. There's a reason the word macho is fucking Latin. You know what I mean? Alpha. Fucking alpha is also Latin. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah. Fuck. So it happens when you're 12 feet tall. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I see you try out hub. It looks like I I cut Ryu uh, hub, uh, but or, or I cu- I cut our youth. You be. Right <laughs> you know. You ever notice that about certain words? Like because we have to string them together for uh, for for the internet. Like never never. You know, get a receipt that is from penisland.com. Uh, you know, right. I, no, I no longer order pens from penisland.com. Yeah, uh, yeah. When I get invoices that say penis land, um, I get uh, in trouble. And Miss Frigga uh, might question that. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> no, look, it's fucking ink. It I comes in a brown paper bag that hides everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a black bag. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, see, and Andino says he doesn't do art contests because he likes other people winning for a change. Yeah, <laughs> I understand it's that. It's, it's like one punch man. You know, he, he just doesn't like getting in fights because it's boring. Can I count my uh, uh, sniper piece I sent you as my entry? Dude, that piece is going in there. Sure. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, have a, I have a list. I have a list, but what I have to do, like I said, because uh, – the floodgates poured in. We're doing 24 pages on that half issue. So I have to go through it and uh, say, okay, how much is for this section? How many pages for this section? Does this get a full page? Are we going to put four pinups on this page? Because there's a lot of, lot of stuff coming in. So oh, I was just uh, joking. Thanks. Man. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Dude. I love your piece. I told you that. You're like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Ralph Stedman. The, like all the good, like everything that everybody said about your stuff uh, in, in the notes. Nobody's saying that you, you draw like them. You remind us of these fucking talents because you are the, one of those talents. 
He loves your he loves your piece, Jason. No, thank yeah. you very much. I love you. <laughs> oh man, now oh. it's all love. Be, now it's all love. Uh, but yeah, Marshall, I'm going to get you those tracks. Uh, Clint, it's good having you on here. Nova hey, Blast, thanks for having me on, man. It's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Nova Blast, uh, definitely reach out uh, through the community tab or email me through the Incredible Comics Dudes with a Z, yep. and it's D double O D Z Incredible Comics Dudes at gmail.com, and then I can get your uh, your elder out to you. And and same thing yep. to no you. Rush. Lord Crackhead, uh, send me an email uh, with your address so I can get you your samurai. Uh, before before I close out, because we're at three hours and fifteen minutes. When I when I see Jason stuff, like, this is what I see, like that kind of shit. Oh, badassery! Yeah, yeah you like, see badassery? like old school Ninja yeah. Turtles. That, that's yeah. what made me love the book. Thanks, yeah. man. That's you know, yeah. like oh, I gotta back this book. And as soon as, soon as I saw him on Shay's um, for the first time on Shay's uh, channel. I immediately saw it and said, I'm buying that book. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you know. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. But let's, uh, let's before before we go, I'm going to uh, show. Uh, yeah, see what I mean? It's, exact, it's, it's an echo. There we go. Mm -hmm. You know, those really cool, heavy lines. Yep. Rad. Love it. So we're going to show, we're going to show Lost Pages. We're going to show Absolute. Uh, we're going to show uh, Pirate Queen one more time. We're going to show uh, uh, Black Flag one more time. And then we're going to close out. And then I'm going to go to bed. Uh, yeah, right. Me too. Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's grab this. First, we will take a look at the Lost Pages. The Lost Pages. I got a See, it's this my stuff thing. in today for it. You got a what? You're going to do a cock push-ups? What did you say? <laughs> yeah, before, before Put I that on that. Twitter. He charges <laughs> more for that. You ever do a oh. cock push-up? <laughs> we, uh, we got posters in today. Oh, sweet, dude. Let's uh, let's see him. Let's see him. Oh, the Beasley one. Let me, uh, oh, shit, what, I got to yeah, make you the pink. Thing. Hold on. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Oh. Nice. Sexy. Nice. So this, of course, the Bisley cover poster. If you guys got the bonus comic. Oh, uh, they, uh, so, by the way, thank you, uh, Phil, for the postcard. Yeah, he's coming to yeah. get us. You, you, you will, you will see me that. soon, but I'm sure yeah. you just wrote that to me only. Only. Yeah, only you wrote yeah I didn't get that. Yeah. See, I got, I got it. You know, yeah. is. I got, I got, I got. I got Mine says we'll beat you soon. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mine was uh, favor returned, and there was a picture of his belly button stapled to it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did not feel the love in this, Phil. All right, let's not, take. I was taking forward to it for uh, a whole week. Rest. All right, let's take a look at uh, the lost pages uh, and watch the trailer one time because I love hearing the word trash fire. Uh, let's go. The Lost Pages Purpose. The Minds and Hands of Zade Comics comes the first book in their connected universe of heroes with a cover by legendary illustrator Simon Bisley. The Lost Pages is a story of a magical book in the hands of a homeless man. Within it are tales lost to time of heroes from different eras and walks of life. Look at that black flag all shield. Protecting humanity hey. from evil. Yeah. This is where the rap lyrics should be coming. Yes. As the word of the book is spoken around a trash fire, new crusaders of justice will be revealed to this world. A supernatural vigilante on the hard streets of Chicago named the Silhouette. An ancient sorcerer battling horrific myth on the high seas known as Wild Card. A modern day mental monster from the mind of a bodybuilder babe, Primstone. And a pulp hero from the 1930s, a master of disguise donning the mask of the masquerade. This is just the beginning, for in the future, these heroes and more will come together to write the end of the world. But for now, the ink of life flows on every page. Will you be there to read it? Hell yeah. Only on Indiegogo. Only. 
on any of them. Enquayab. A shotgun blast. Okay. Yeah, wait a minute. Go, go. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 go, go. Yeah. Now, what is that little extra thing you got there? What is that? What, at the end of the, the trailer? Yeah. It's his brother. That, it's called super liminal messaging. Super liminal. subliminal, right? You've heard of subliminal, right? I have. When you don't know I what's have. happening. Super liminal yeah. is when you shout it in someone's face. Oh, Sega! Yeah, Very effective. Exactly. That made me back it. Oh, I think, I think I get it. Oh, hold yeah. on. What does that say? Who is who's a crescent? There's a crescent. There we go. Hi, crescent. Howdy, howdy. How are you doing, man? Boy. Thanks for ah, thanks, thanks for popping up in that private chat. I didn't even see you back there, man. Yeah, well, you're welcome. What's going yeah. on? Not much, man. I was uh, just about to do uh, one of these. Let's see, I don't know how you can get people to do things like that. I'm just too old school to figure it out. That's a. Uh... It's it's uh it's super liminal. So I'm learning new words. See, <laughs> that's why I hang out with the. I, that's why I hang out with the kids. I hang out with the kids. Like, so, did anyone uh, actually own a Sega Master System in this room? Hell yeah! So, I yeah. Genesis. My friend had a Dreamcast. No, yeah. I only had Dream, Dreamcast. Though. Dreamcast was a shit. Yeah, Dreamcast was a hell of a time. Was good. Yeah, it was one of the best systems ever. Teddy's Sega Genesis for me. <laughs> Yep, I beat. played it, but I never owned one. Sorry. Yeah, those are a good time. Uh, Pirate Queen uh, with Mandy and Clint. Uh, AAT. Yeah, yeah, with some some AAT. Uh, let's give this trailer a watch. Let's give it a watch. Get ready for action and adventure with the Pirate Queen. Join the crew of the Star Raider as the Pirate Queen leads them in search of treasure and riches across the galaxy. This will be a 60-page book with lots of extras, including prints, trading cards, bonus Pirate Queen art book, and original sketches by the artist. Don't miss out on all the fun. Written by Mandy Summers with art by Clint Alinsky. Pirate Queen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm still working on my video skills. <laughs> my sound guy wasn't there that day. There you go. Oh, fuck. There's too many things conveniently getting in the way. Hey, gay cleavage. Holy Take shit, man! That got, that got intense fast. <laughs> I'm so glad I wore the brown pants. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, fun and tiff. Yeah, fun, 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 fun. Uh, you guys, check this out. Let me uh, put the link in the the chat one more time so you guys can get a a, a good gander at some of that. As Wizard Beard says, the pirate booty. Oh, look at that. Lord Crackhead's already on it, man. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a master. Crackhead he is. Well, he'd he be is. Lord Crackhead. I think he's a time traveler. He's my favorite Crackhead. He, he's, he must be a, a super time traveler. Not uh, an everyday crack. It's great. It is so simple to make. Just get some cocaine and bacon soda. And I swear I tasted egg and cinnamon. Hey, what the fuck are you saying, man? What is that? <laughs> Egg and cinnamon sounds nasty. It doesn't I sound good. Good uh, French toast. Yeah. French it's food. true. You're absolutely right. But when I'm thinking of scrambled eggs with cinnamon on them, it doesn't sound good. Mm. Kind of a clash there. Put them together with some toast. Yeah, Thank that's you. true. Uh, Dick. Dick. I, like, I like ketchup on my eggs. Is that Peter Samedi like ketchup on his eggs or something? Yeah, yeah. He and I yeah. talked about that. King Katie, I think you for the five pounds. Is that gonna that comic gonna be like a Russ Meyer movie, but in comic form? Yeah, definitely Russ Meyer. Uh 
what were, what were the ones after Russ Meyer where they copied them even like cheaper? It's like mm -hmm. uh, like Hawaii Heat or Miami something or another. But yeah, definitely. Oh, it looks like we lost Crescent. Uh oh. Can I uh, share a couple of things before you do this? Yeah. Because yeah, I have yeah. a, I added a sketch cover here, and when you get to sign up for that, you get this trading card here. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, you get that trading oh. card of Absolute Valkyrie. Nice. And, yeah, thank you. And then I have the sketch cover comic book here. So, I got my yes. Black Flag personalized one. Let me see. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh... Yeah, that's the trading card one. So, yeah, but, there you yeah, go. And then I have the sketch cover. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, nice. and it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's card stock. It's, I already sketched on one of the messed up ones and it works well. So, nice. Yeah. So, that's a new tier that I got. Going, so. Nice. Oh, Christopher John, we were just talking about hey. it. Oh, hey, hey, grab grab this I'm link, brother. Giant, I'm a giant. Look at me. Hey, you are <laughs> massive. I love your shirt too, dude. Oh, what, thanks, is that, man. what is the Batman that's all like rainbow? Oh, nice. Yo, man, I have no idea. I got it for Christmas. Rainbow uh, Batman, bro. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, Multiple like, generations. I know, nice. Like I should know who Rainbow Batman. Yeah, is. I have no idea who Rainbow Batman is. <laughs> but, Batman. Yeah, it's not the gay one. That, yeah. the Batman's. He's all of the letters, right? Oh, oh, geez. He's the, he he's the whole cheese and the macaroni. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and by macaroni, I mean. And he's the cheese. But yeah, that's a new. Uh, the sketch cover is the newest thing in my tier. I'm gonna actually add one so you can get just the sketch cover without a sketch, but you won't get the trading card. So that way, it'll be cheaper and people want. But it's limited. There's only so many of them. Right. Anyway, yeah. So that's that. I'm done talking. Oh, I hear a boop. Uh, oh, oh shit, is it Christopher John. No, it's not. We got uh, sketch and death metal hero. Oh, hell. Uh, uh, now we got hold on a second. Dan has to, to sleep. Yo, <laughs> hold, on. hold on a second. Sorry to do this, guys. Sorry to do this. Sketch, sorry about that. Uh, and and uh, and well, and Luke, uh, hold on a second. Du -du -du. Christopher John, I sent you the link, man. I sent it to you on via Twitter as well. So please, uh, please grab it. I just uh, showed your stuff. I could always drop out to get them in here, dude. Uh, Dan, Dan, I could, I could drop out. I just had a question, uh, though. Yeah, ask away, man. Um, I, I'm super a ignorant to this, but um, your T-shirts—they all say AAT. I'm not sure what they mean. That means it means as, it, it means uh, always. <laughs> Uh, it means that always awesome. Together. Always a door. Yeah. Okay. Always okay. awesome together. We're no, all, I mean, always it, awesome it means, together. It means it means ass ass titty. <laughs> Inspired by the woman herself. Yeah, it's there it's, you go. Uh, it's ass ass titty, man. That's exactly well, what. It hey is. hey, I I have no problem with that at all. Um, Excellent. <laughs> But uh, but hey, I'd love to I'd love to see a black flag T-shirt. I'd I'd be down for that. Um, it exists. I have to. Yeah. Uh, maybe what I'll do is take them out of uh, add-ons and make them their own thing. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, cool, I thought they were gone too because I they no I they're just add-ons. No, they're there. I think I added one onto mine. Yeah. Yeah. They're right, just well, 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 send me a link to your to your beats and you can kick me out. I'm good. I'm All good. right, man. Thanks for coming through, dude. Thank Later, you, sir. dude. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing those shirts and hats when they start shipping. People start, you know, sporting them. Oh, oh hell yeah! I yeah, can't wait. Flag Army representing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Mr. Christopher John hey, and brother. Death Metal Hero. Hey, Happy Friday, Happy Friday, everyone. Happy oh, Friday, Happy Friday, Dan. Dan. Friday. You missed the. Uh, there you, missed, Jeez. you missed the uh, in here sketch. Hey, hey there he is. How are you guys doing? Hello, Scotch. How are you, Scotch? Chilling, chilling. Uh, yeah, dude, I I uh I showed that that cool bunny piece. Now, how many twenty threes are in that picture? Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on. Because I could find. I think I found three. Say twenty three. <laughs> oh I man, don't tell. <laughs> I could do that. That's a good number to pick, though. <laughs> um, if you're gonna hide one, twenty-three of them, two, uh, See, I found I found three. There's so I found this one here. 
four. Okay. One is the one, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three, three. Yeah. Four is um yeah. where's the other one? It's in the black flag symbol. The colors kind of uh the colors do fuck it up, you can't see it, but that's okay. up on the right there on the pole. No, well, no, like, that. that's right in there. The, on the in the cloth. Yeah. Oh, in here. Okay. In the cloth on the frog. I can't see it's it. It's in there somewhere. No, you can't. But anyway. Okay, you don't have to give up. You don't have to give it up. But uh, people were asking, mm -hmm. who colored this? Um. Well, he, he said he like to remain anonymous. But that's what I said to the. I anonymous. said that to the chat. I said he's he keep him close to the vest. That's cool. I mean, a code uh, name or something. That's like, fine if it's anonymous, name? but he's he's a quite code a name anonymous. Well, I no, he, <laughs> he just said he just said I I'd rather not anybody know. I'm like okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. What up, Sketch? How are you, man? And I don't even know if doing you're good. Done. I'm doing good. I'm glad to be here. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yeah, decent, bro. Doing awesome, hey, man. Good to see you. Yeah, good. did a pretty cool samurai earlier, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I was nice. Dan, I was there. long. Hey, Christopher John, do you actually have a weekend or do you have to work the weekend too? No, I have off on the weekends. Oh, that's got to um, be good. That's yeah, my wife good. works that on the weekends. So. Yeah. My son is with me on the weekends. So we have fun. We, you're usually on, on topic list on Monday night. So we'll, do you get yeah. off at a certain time on Mondays? or? Yeah, that's what I forgot to tell you, Dan, is that I'm usually on that show on Monday. <laughs> oh, loyalty. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, you know I what? got priorities, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> we get all four of the viewers. Sorry, man. Don't worry about I think That's everybody right. should do uh, have a platform. As long as you have uh, something to say in a mission, you know, my mission is getting people to create, uh, mm -hmm. getting people to get uh, feel better about the fact that they can create. The thing I don't like. Uh, and and it drives me crazy. Is is uh, uh, and I do it. I see you do it, Jason. I see S Fat do it sometimes too. Is uh, where we go. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I'm not that good. Uh, <laughs> nah, shut the fuck up. You know. You know. I uh, that just means there's always room for improvement. Is what that every, is. Way, every day talking to Dan. You you know what though? I mean, the, Michael Jordan at his best could still be better. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So like. Uh, that's that's anyway. Uh, my point is 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 I believe everybody should have a platform and, and uh, get out there and share their stuff with the world, share their mission with the world, um, and then you know make a living of it. Uh, go and and do a campaign. Let the world know about what you're doing and 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 do what you like to do. Like like for example, Dan Plagel, uh, Boob Dan Art. Uh, I think he would be happy yeah. drawing boobies all day long and getting paid <laughs> for it. So uh, you know, there are worse ways to spend your time. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Get the the Amazing. squish show. Get the squish show. Uh, and and Dan, Dan, where'd your head go? Oh, there you go. There's the squish right there. Oh, and he's got a beret on and everything. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Gotta stay on brand. I love yeah. Dan's art. No, yeah. I would say on that that you may not know exactly what your niche is. Maybe you like to cover some news. Maybe you like to make a fun game show. Maybe you Oops. like to go over some entertainment stuff. You want to go whatever you want to do. You're you're not gonna your first show is not gonna be your definite form. You might have to change it up a little bit. You might try different things, different guests if you can get them. If not, just sit down there and talk to the people and let them get to know you. That's what matters more than anything, because in anything mm -hmm. that you do, they're just gonna want to get to know you. Say you're, you know, see that you're a real person. That's mm -hmm. Oh yeah. How a lot. Except, except for Cecil. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Cecil, yeah. <laughs> oh, Cecil what's, get drunk. What's, 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 what's he holding what up? There? What are you holding up there, Phil? What is that? So uh, I was listening to your show, and for some reason, I thought you said the topic was bird's eye, and so I drew this. Oh, nice! No, I, I said I said I could either do a bird's eye view or a worm's eye view, but hey, bird's eye is cool, dude. You know what that looks, like? looks like? That looks like a Skeksis from Dark Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just doing like a vulture. Oh, this is my uh, my samurai. There you go. He's dope, oh, and he's got the omega on his head. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. No, my cyber samurai. This is gonna be like uh, I don't know, like hollow armor or something like that, and. Yeah. You know. Cool. Yeah. 
Oh, oh and uh, I did this for Elder last night. Let's take a look. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. Stole my idea, oh. Elder God. Yeah, that was the first thing that came to my head when, yeah. when I heard Elder. So. How do you say is it? Is it Cthulhu? How do you say yeah, Cthulhu. 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 Yeah, bless you. Zoom tight. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Dan do boob Thulu. We <laughs> 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 just have a whole bunch of like a, like a, a chest full of tits instead of like a face full of tentacles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if you want to see a really cool Cthulhu, though, look up Jonathan Wayshack. He oh, draws oh, Cthulhu. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's just, yeah. yeah. Yo. Wayshack's just awesome, though. Yeah. He's great, and he's a hell of a guy. Super yeah, I've nice. heard interviews with him. He sounds awesome. Yeah, he's he's great. I found his work through Juxtapose magazine. Follow him mm. on Instagram. Uh, nice, nice dude. I've I've had a little few back and forth uh, via you know Instagram chat. Real cool dude. He had a couple emails back. Nice. Yeah, I I think he should be doing his own comic. Too. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, well, he kind of does. Uh, like he does myopia, but those are sketchbooks, and he had his own. Uh, I can't remember. It's like dysfunction or something like that. It's there's no text in it. It's just like panel art. It's yeah, like, uh, I'm looking it, at it. He does a pretty good Fing Fang Foom too. He's a monster. Uh, well, not well. Fing Fang Foom is a monster too, but um, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, just yeah, go. Uh, I'm hugging May Shack, but uh, just go on to uh, what is it? Uh, uh, can't remember the name of his website now. Uh, of course, I but anyway, find, I always find it through uh, Instagram. Just wish. yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he's he's definitely one of my favorites. Him and Sam Keith, and I mean, I could list my idols all day long. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. What's Sam Keith up to anymore, man? I haven't seen him forever. <laughs> he did something recently. He, uh, he had the Max Batman, but he never finished it. Uh, Issue four never came out uh, yet. I have to say that because right. he, but, uh, it's always frustrating when like a favorite artist just kind of disappears off the tracks and you have no idea well, that's the thing with sam keith he's a lot he pretty much can do whatever he wants and then he can get away with it because he's sam, he's keith. sam keith yeah, yeah. Right. so he's, and, he's sam keith yeah i'll wait i'll wait all year for batman number four or two years i don't care batman max number four i'll wait i don't care it's amazing stuff this is the kind of stuff luke and i talk about on topic list just random just crap so it's probably creative differences mm. you never keith, know He's just, I don't know. He he's just like a pretty chill, chill dude, though. Yeah, he does. Well, not him, but like other people. You got to work with a team to make a comic. If you want that comic, who was that team? I mean, you know, who else was on there? Uh, I think Keith does the colors and the inks. Doesn't he usually color his own stuff for you? Yeah, a lot of the yeah. time. But maybe he maybe doesn't he's doing it at all. Maybe if if the writer doesn't doesn't write, doesn't doesn't write, write, doesn't write, you can't draw it. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I don't I remember uh, an old interview with uh, Sam Keith Apologies, uh, Greg, in Wizard or something. He had a letter he wrote, did too much LSD, and um, and wasn't confident in himself. Did you ever know that? No, I screw up your deadlines. That. Yeah. Uh, I did not know that. Well, I, I know you're going to end it, but if you look at his blog spot, you can see he's very self-deprecating. He, Why? He, I don't. It's, he's Sam Keith. Yeah, he really doesn't like. Only reason I have for you, but yeah. So, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna grind it down because we're approaching. We're approaching going now for uh, three hours and forty minutes, Uh, and I'm gonna get up early and and finish fixing this computer. There's Dan Plago. What happened to you, man? What, dude? What's up with your computer? What happened? A phone call came through and it kills my audio, so I had to go somewhere I could hear. Ah, okay. Uh, well, this is what happened, Luke. I bought, uh, well, my power supply on my 2006 Mac went out. Okay. Oh. Uh, and it was just as, well, cheap or as expensive to buy a replacement tower, like buy the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Uh, the power supply was like 150 plus 50 to install. And for 200 bucks, you can just buy a, a replacement tower, right? Yeah. Totally. But, the tower I got was two years newer. I had an old 2006. This was a 2008. Right. Uh, I upgraded. I upgraded the uh, the hard drive, but then uh, another hard drive on it crashed while I was upgrading it. Then hey. Two of the sticks of RAM 
that uh, worked in the old one don't work in the new one. And uh -huh. like, it's just everything was a mess to get shit going. So this, this is in restore mode for the second time. Yeah. And it takes about 10 hours to restore it because it's a full terabyte and it's coming mm -hmm. off of a disk image. So one of these days on this desktop computer, I can do this. But it's not a PC problem. It's a Mac problem, which I almost never have. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing about Macs is when they fuck up, they fuck up big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Uh, but I put in an order on on eBay because uh, I I tried to go to Fry's today. I don't know if you guys have Fry's. Oh, Fry's Electronics. Fry's. Yeah, for Fry's Electronics. And I went there and I was like, "Do you have six six seven? What's it called? Six six seven megahertz FR DIM two RAM." I oh need. That's that's the thing about Mac that irritates me. You have to buy specific Mac RAM. Yes, my MacBook Pro. Yes, and he's like, we haven't had that, you know, since 2014 or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You know? And uh, so then I found I found someone on eBay that had it for like 40 bucks. So nice. Um, can't wait to get it, slap it in that machine, and and doing that. Uh, you off to the races again? Cool. I just, I just say get a real computer. <laughs> He's got a real computer now. A real oh, computer. Got a PC. But got here's a the thing, PC. you guys. Here's the thing. This particular Mac Pro, the one that I'm like clutching onto uh, and trying to make sure that it stays alive, even if it's not all itself anymore. Mm -hmm. I've had, I've had for 14 years. I've done so many fucking jobs. It's never done me wrong until that power supply went out. Uh, and, and because I'm not a gamer, I don't do 3d, uh, okay. I will, you know, I am doing 3d now and that's why we got the PC, but, sure. uh, that was, that was it. So I got no, no, uh, no problems with this thing until now and 14 years is good. And I mean, here's the other thing too, my car, I have a 2009 Jetta TDI. It's got 120, almost 124,000 miles on it. It purrs like a kitten. It runs perfectly. The thing is, uh, you know. I bought it 12 years ago. Well, you can give it a biking funeral. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. Fifteen years out of a computer is goddamn amazing, dude. Yeah, man. Like that, a, is, that is super ancient in, in, in computer terms. Yep. Yeah, I know it is, but it does everything I need it to. It runs Photoshop. It runs the Cintiq. It plays music, and uh, it's good. Runs the Cintiq. No shit. Still. Yeah. Yeah, and that this is the other cool thing, and this is why I wanted to upgrade, and how that ended up fucking everything up too, is that uh, the 2006 the OS ceiling yeah. was uh, 10.7. Oh man, wow! So the new iTunes uh, doesn't work, <laughs> Safari doesn't work, Firefox yeah. doesn't work, Chrome barely works, uh, but Photoshop totally works. So <laughs> the exact problem I had, Dan, my computer yeah. doesn't can't get on any sort of like web stuff now, but the Photoshop's awesome. Yep. All my editing software. Yeah. But all you have to do is go on eBay, find a like a $200, $300, 2008 model, and you can upgrade it to uh 10, 11, six. And then that'll give you all the newest browsers and uh, and all that, and you'd be easy, easy peasy riding, man. You'd be good. Ten, eleven, six. What do you mean? Uh, OS. Ten, eleven, six. Uh, what's it called? El Capitan. Oh, so man. you have to get a, a to get a, a a newer computer to get it. Or? Yes. Even though okay. it's older, even though it's older. So let's say you have a a two thousand six Mac Pro. What you do is you can uh, take your hard drive out of it and slap it in the 2008. And then you can, because the 2008 machine is upgradable up to uh, 10 and 11, mm. you can upgrade your OS, which means you can now upgrade your browsers and upgrade your iTunes. Yeah. You read the loot over there, time. Jason? Yeah. Oh, just reading a nice quality comic right there. That's all, you know, just reading a nice quality book. What's going on? What You got a little uh, hand on your nose. What's I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's my twin. <laughs> it's my fucking twin. 
It's my strong hand. My tiny hand. Next time, check out the, the setup I got. <clears throat> yeah. Can you see it? What? Uh, let me get. Yep. Let me take a look. Hold on a second. Let me grab it. I gotta scroll down. Uh. Oh, look at that, man! It's glowing. Uh, ooh. Nice. Holy shit, man! Nice setup. That's. Ooh, I nice. got a, a razor mm, case. I got a. This is just temporary. I want to get an RTX uh, 3080. But for yeah. now, I got a, a oh, RTX okay. 27 Super. Mm -hmm. I got a carbon MSI uh, motherboard. Uh, 12, 1200 LGA. That's an i7. I might bump it up to an i9. Depends. I have an i9. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. But the you know, it was a combo, and and I'll I might swap it out to to another computer, and yeah. put a new one in there. Jesus. Man, every time you, you come when you when you call in and it's like all like tinny sounding, I imagined you in like some fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. crazy aircraft hangar type plate, you know <laughs> I live okay I mean I can't Hello. complain if I was if I was in the USA I'd be pretty screwed yeah because I'm basically living on a on a you know on a military pension yeah but uh uh what do they call it uh yeah and that's what it is but over here it's, it's a little lower cost of living so I can live okay that's awesome. And I, I kind of invested in this. I wanted to start rendering, and and the old computer I had wasn't good for rendering. You gotta have a yeah. little bit more CPU. You gotta have a little bit of a better. You gotta have some when you go to render. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. So that's pretty much why. Uh, is that the is that the new tablet you were telling me about, Sketch? That is, that is. That one went for like I think it was two hundred to fifty. Wait a minute. No, I let like me check. No, it was yeah. more than that. It was way more than that. Let me check. I'm gonna tell you I one second. Okay. I'm going to share uh, Black Flag real quick, <coughs> and, and then I'm going to shut the stream down, guys. I'm, I'm fading fast. Uh, you yes. got to remember, I have a baby that doesn't let me sleep. Uh -oh. uh, so it's uh, – and I didn't have my caffeine, and I ha I'm not having sugar, and I'm not having booze, and I'm not having carbs. So um, I'll, I'll uh, do it for you, man. So you're just, you're just abusing me. You're as good a mood as you are. are. So here's uh, the Black Flag campaign. We're at 189.199. Uh, that takes us ten thousand eight hundred and one dollar away from oh. a brand new bunny suit, and uh, we will give uh, a lucky backer this one. They get the Percocet sweats and everything, uh, all them all to themselves. Uh, Want to start a band called Percocet Sweats? <laughs> don't forget to check out the Keeper. Uh, the Keeper. That's what I. That's what I call uh, my wife. Um, she's oh, the keeper. Oh yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, and definitely, definitely check out Unhinged Entertainment's oh. Absolute Book One. <laughs> Hell yeah. uh, don't forget to uh, get it. You're going to be getting a sketch card from me uh, as well, which I got to I gotta get that drawn up and get it out to you. Uh, are you going to color it digitally? Uh, or are you, you going to color it on the thing itself? Uh I kind of want to do it digitally just so I don't mess it up. Cool. No uh, problem. Well, then yeah. I can get it to you quicker than mailing it. To you. I might scan it, reprint, and watercolor it. So I don't ah, mess it up. Okay. Well, then, then uh, well, I'll do both. I'll send you a digital copy and then also send you. Uh, oh, hell, man. Thank you. Uh, excellent. Uh, and then I'm going to go around. Will, uh, you, I'm going to give everybody their uh, last cell of things to say, and then I'm going to shut down. So, Will, are you ready? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, fucking, that is the Positivity. classic enthusiasm that I, I fucking love. <laughs> <laughs> always, always and forever. Uh, Will. Drop the tools, bro. Give, <laughs> give us, uh, give us some nuggets. Um, I am working with this man to my what is it? I see my left. I expose right. <laughs> there you go. So be my right, I guess. So on Black Flag, we are doing well. I think we. I mean, I don't can't really say much about it at the moment. So. Pretty much anything that Dan says. Oh come on now! No, that, that's the thing is is uh, it's it's one of those things where you can't talk about it. 
and then you you see it, it's kind of like the same thing with the Matt Yaki thing. Like we don't spoilers, no spoilers. It, it's, <laughs> it's a spoilery thing, uh, but we're gonna as we start getting closer and closer to printing and fulfillment, we're gonna start leaking pages, uh, and you're gonna start seeing stuff and words. We, we where we're going, we don't need words. I know you. Right. Say, when, I'm on, when I'm on Shay's channel, I can I can piss the shit out of it because I am the guy that's represented. But when I'm on yours, I just point and go, you know, this guy. You know, oh, come on, man. Mystical, mythical, and magical. There you go. Because it is, it is the whole, like the whole channel is a pitch for Black Flags. It's like it's like kind of like a repetition, don't you think? Yeah. Well, no, well, that's why I say I say to people, and I'll say it one more time: if you want to save the butterflies. If you want uh, people to check out any sort of uh, content book, like I highly recommend seeing the documentary "The Social Dilemma" on Netflix right now. Uh, that sort of thing. Oh, the like floor is yours. The floor is yours, my friend. Um. Well, I, I can't recommend any documentaries. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like, hey, wait, listen, I'm going to uh, – Will, this is what I'm going to do. I'm doing this. Watch this. This is going to happen. There we go. Boom. Damn. There you go. Thank you. you think about you it. Said this is going to happen. I got kind of scared. I kind of like, you know, crutch or, like, crotch or something. I'm like, well, no, it's not going to happen then. No, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Plagle, uh anything you want, the floor is yours. Anything I want? Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I, I have to chill, other than I guess buy more black flag. No, it's not about <laughs> chilling. God damn it, man! This is turning into a fucking shit show fast, or well, it's becoming a bigger will, shit show. Let's have a have a show storage wars. I, I can go. And I I have some art I can share with you. Show some That's boobs, please. Want, you get a minute for anything. You can please. say like, you so, know, so I feel that I, great. I, I tweak the face. I tweak. Great, I tweak the face on the uh, on the uh, print that I did for you. All right, let's see it. Um, let's see if I can spin the camera here. Hi, Squish. Uh, where? Oh. I need to see boobs. Boobs. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what I can do. Uh, there we go, camera. Shit show, shit show, shit, shit show. Professional. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm working with my. And in addition, to, oh, there's my a God. backup feature. Sweet in the Jesus, wow. there we go. There it is, boobies, busting oh, up. Yeah, I see. Man, so this I awesome. fixed your face a little bit. I wasn't happy before. So Dude, there's it's the, great. It's great. The whole Scan image, it. but I, it's, I tried out for Malin's art contest because i couldn't resist the money <laughs> but i want to bury is, my face if you put the two, if you put the two of them together they make almost like a unintentional like two page splash that's cool uh, man it's just kind of weird there we there go you. badass badass man sweet you there is that yeah graveyard shift over there i don't know if you're there Sterling. it is you that's cool definitely all right, Dan. I'm, uh, so, we're, here's the mailing one, I guess. Whoa! There you go. I keep it still for a second. There I, I killed go. her pretty good, but. And then Mick. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it was uh, funny. I I put the two of them side by side, and and uh, they came out kind of cool. That's how John and I are when we're together. We're yeah, it like, was unintentional. I I just like had them on the board next. To me. <laughs> like, wait a minute. They kind of match. <laughs> That's excellent. So. All right, Dan, you're breaking up, so I'm gonna kick your kick you. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Yeah, we'll see you on the so next one, dude. Yeah, scan that and That's, send it to Yaki, please. It's about all I got going on. But you're breaking up. You're I don't. You're like choppy chop like Kawasaki, dude. Here you go. You're choppa. All right, I'm gonna just nudge you. There we go. Uh, Clint. The floor is yours. You have a minute. Uh, you can talk about whatever you want, man. It could I'm be like, anything. Can I share a screen? I, I can show you what I've been working on today. Anything today. Share the screen, dude. Do it. Do it. Do it. Does that Do pull it. up? Uh, no. Nope. No. no picture. No picture. Oh. Yeah, Mike, <laughs> Mike Oxmall, man. 
Oh, I'm just having trouble with this. Oh, so hard. Show me your sexy move. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a new like one. I like that never works. <laughs> Only fuck me when you're angry. That's the best one, though. <laughs> that is the best one. Ooh. Absolutely the best one. All right. He's not Wait. working. Wait. Uh, figure it out, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or you want to talk about Pirate Queen? Talk about Pirate Queen. I'll just, I'll just show you the cover. Of the... That's nice. Mm. Yes, it is. There, there it is. is. Nice. Dan, do you remember Duckman? Of course. Oh, that means awesome. uh, the sweet hat. We're just inking a lot of Pirate Queen and uh, books live on Indiegogo right now. I'd love everybody to go check it out and uh, back it. You know, we. Uh, yeah. We're doing pretty good. We're, we're in the second week now, and we've got uh, pretty good uh, movement going. I just want to keep the, the momentum going and sell as many books as we can. It's kind of a fun project, uh, and hopefully everybody can check it out. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, it looks great. Man. Thank you. It reminds it me a little of Duckman, but it looks great. I love it. Thanks, yeah, man. Excellent. Be well, sir. I'll give you the nudge. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Dan. Dan? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to have to roll, too. Oh, okay. Uh, these are Three just some stuff I was working on. You. Sorry, Jason. I'm moving him up and then uh, making him full screen. Uh, let's see what you got, man. Oh, <laughs> he's, that, that, Dude, that, that uh, character. That's so cool. Twitter. That's great. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, could... little blurry. little blurry. Uh, Chris, I didn't know these were this small. Oh, yeah. This awesome. is my uh, This is my studio here. <laughs> you, got, you got the wallet, the wallet sketch. Yeah, you got that got crimstone my, in there, buddy. Got my pen. Uh, sure. no, nah, maybe. No, nah, not is it? I forget. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Hell yeah, dude! Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Everything you, you see on Twitter is where you wanted to here. focus. So cool. <clears throat> well, sketch. I'm just winging it here. Yeah. So I no, gotta go. Word of advice: that when you hold the camera, there's gonna, the screen you're looking at, you touch where you want it to focus. All right, Thank buddy. Thank you. Oh, you'll be all right. We're all men here. You can, Thanks, you know, Chris. Hey, listen to me. It's good Thanks, advice. Baby. When you point a camera, you touch where you want it to focus. Sketch. Help the guy out. The phone. They're gonna sabotage you. Tell no, I'm kidding. But listen to me. It will work. <laughs> <laughs> Big love to you, Chris. For John. Yo, Chris, Chris man. Thanks a lot, guys. See you, see you later, later, man. Later, brother. Awesome. Uh, sketch, you're hilarious, man. It happened to me a million times, man. I've been in this show. Hey, man, you're bringing your, the, you know, <laughs> all that trailblazing. You know, you get, you get to be bit by the bear so you can <laughs> tell people there's a bear over there. Exactly. That's great. <laughs> all right. Phil. Phil. Yes. Oh, oh, dude, don't burn your face with your hands. You had some new art, uh -oh. right? <laughs> yeah, dude, we got a bunch of stuff in like all of the trading cards do oh, it sick, man. Look at that. nice Holy including shit, some prega yeah the best one i'm just kidding <laughs> I, I like where this a lot <laughs> oh they oh, all look yeah, pretty good yeah, yeah they all look good man. Resurrected we were, cards as well right you and i were talking about that phil but whoever does wild card how badass that guy is yeah 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 i'm uh i'm gonna put him under contract so no one can hire him can I see Masquerade? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. Drawing Masquerade. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I like that one. The silhouette, too. It was like my two. Well, and the main character. It was pretty cool. You have one with the shadow, like some new uh, page art or something. That yeah, looked yeah. pretty nice, too. So we got the cards. We got the posters. So if you guys have not backed yet, get the bonus comic tier. It'll come with a poster um, as well uh, of the Simon Bisley cover. And today we ran some. Uh, sizing preliminaries for the 6 a.m. comic stickers. So nice. we made them pretty big. We're, we're oh, going to shrink them down a little bit. The masquerade one is badass on there. Yeah, look at that. It seems to be the one everyone's gravitating towards. Yeah, it's, you know, and Dan says he's his least favorite. <laughs> masquerade. That's to tell you, yeah. you never know. Well, I, I like a wild card. I, I, the wild card story you sent me with the Anubis was pretty cool. Yeah, that's, it, that's in the bonus comic. I like comic. Grimstone. I like Silhouette. Yeah. Uh, these are the these are the ones that I, I gravitate towards. But you know what? There's a there's a, a band, a, a a pop band called In Sync, and in that band is a guy named J.C. Chazé, 
And yes. anytime <clears throat> JC said, yeah, I don't like that song, that use usually is their biggest hit on the album. So I'll be your JC, bro. Uh, Hell yeah, man. <laughs> well, that's the good thing about the Lost Pages. There's something for everybody. There is some. And I like the Crimstone because I'm a big fan of Dale Keown and yeah. you know anything big with claws. You know you're always gonna think of Pit or Hulk drawn by Dale. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you again for coming through, Christopher John. You're back. Yep. Yeah, I'm here. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I... <laughs> well, you came I'm back. Pretty, you, you were gone, and then I heard a boop, and you were back. I'm lit, man. That's that's so, good. That's, that's good. good. I'm gonna do that right before <laughs> I go to bed, so I pass out. <laughs> Since I can't do it with uh, the whiskeys. Yeah. All right. I, well, I don't want to hold up your show, so. No, 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 you're not, man. I'm uh, I'm peace out, and uh, Mr. Phil. Yeah. Phil, thanks for coming through, man. I'm gonna thanks do the guys. Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. And uh, we'll see you Great on work. the next one. Yeah, Thank you, Mr. Diaz. Watch those acid hands. Uh. Nova Blast, how are hey. you, sir? I'm awesome. Thanks for having me on the channel. Thanks for doing the sketch yesterday. Uh, everybody, if you haven't already backed The Last Goodbye from Forest Publishing, you can still get that in demand and uh, sign up for The Keeper. That's Richard's next project coming up probably next year. And we do a show every Tuesday and Friday on the Forest Publishing channel called Open Mic. So if you guys haven't checked it out, I uh, invite you to go see some of those, and maybe we'll have some of you guys on in the future. So thanks, Dan. Awesome, man. And I feel like I'm on uh, mushrooms. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Nova Blast. Uh, again, make sure you send your address out so I can get you your yep. elder, elder drawing. Awesome. Uh, thank you again for coming through, man. Gonna Love you guys. Much. Love you too, man. Peace out. Later. Thank you as always. Dead Metal Hero! Like a boom! What is happening, dude? Not a whole lot, man. I had a gigantic lawn today. Holy hell! Yeah. Like it's like a double a, a double plot, and uh, hadn't been mowed in like a month, month and a half. Oh no! And like we're talking like up to like mid calf tall. Oh, oh, good God! It's like waist like high calf in Florida. Oh. So did you have to? Was it don't? Was it St. Augustine grass, dude? Mm-hmm. So wait a and second. Among other things, you know, weeds, yeah, uh, bamboo shoots. Like there's, <laughs> it's this this yard. It was it was ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, big dumb, big dumb dog. I, I will do this on another show. Uh, that's a great idea. I'm not doing it now because, like I said, I'm 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 fixing to go to bed, man. I'm fucking beat. Uh, but tell us tell us uh tell us a one minute story, Luke. <laughs> Tell us anything uh, you want. Let's see. Uh, once upon a time, there was a guy that mowed a bunch of lawns. Uh, yeah. Some of the lawns were so bad that he actually found shoes in the yard. What? And he got worried that one time he was going to find a foot in one of those shoes. Ooh, my. So far, he hasn't. But Oh, um, okay. You, I'm like, but did he? But did he? <laughs> it is Florida. Uh, yeah, Florida. It, exactly. It is Florida. But, and then uh, you I'm Death Metal Hero. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, I think, and uh, going to YouTube. I do the sing along of Doom. Uh, so hit the subscribe button. I do them uh, kind of sporadically. I do topic lists with our boy Jason uh, yes. every Monday. Thinking about moving it to Tuesday because everybody seems to stream on Monday anymore. <laughs> it used to be an empty day, and now. Everybody got a Monday stream. Well, I'm going to be streaming every day this month. That's <laughs> I know. That's and all four of our viewers are going to be right here. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'll send them your way, dude. You guys get me that link, and, and uh, I'll start sending them your way. Like uh, Raging Golden Eagle, man, he he's super kind. Like when a lot of times he'll just tell people to run over to my show, and next thing That's I know. Awesome. I don't think I've ever actually caught one of his streams. He's great. He's a lot of fun. Good energy, good good topics and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, well, dude, a thank you. Book too. Yeah, exactly. Thank you again for uh, for coming through. Thanks for having uh, me, brother. Always good. Know, I'll see you on the next one. I'll be uh, rocking it tomorrow. Uh, you guys, right. make sure you put the words out there, too, so I have something to pick from. Here comes Later, brother. Later, man. Thank you, as always. Sketch!
How you uh, doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well, you got something to show me here. You got Peregrine. Yeah, I wanted to, to you know, give these guys some support. They're doing very well. Um, they're at forty-eight thousand. Uh, wow. They, 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 they do fulfill the promises they make over here. This, uh, you know, this girl is she beat dead feet. The dead beats. She had to shave her head, and she did. Where's that go? It's pretty much down here. Dead beats. Oh yeah. yeah. Shave my head. You know, so they they do come through. Um, That's you know, good. I'm having a, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, good feelings for this campaign. It looks good. Uh, it looks like a good team. The art is there. Um, yeah. I, look at this one. This one particular looks, it looks pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. And I just want you guys to check yeah. it out. And yeah. uh, it's a uh, Peregrine, Wings of the Falcon. If anybody can throw that, uh, let me let me see if I can just throw it in the in the private chat. And, yeah, uh, right. there we go. I've I've, uh, I've had that that book on my show before, so yeah. yeah Maybe you can have Piper show. on or Optimus or one of them guys. It's a great team, great Optimus people. Optimus is great. I like Optimus a lot. <laughs> He's a uh, yeah. I've been on their show. Yeah, they're good people. Excellent. Yeah. All right, Sketch. Well, uh, I'm gonna uh, give you the. Or wait, you like to ninja yourself out. <laughs> oh, I was going to say one last thing. Like, uh, you know, you guys out there are finding your legs. You keep trying different things when you make a show, and it'll all work out. You you find your team. You find your niche. You're going to find something. Just be yourself, and it'll it'll come out, you know. And the chat is gold. You can find treasure in there, brilliant ideas, the, the brightest comedy, and, uh, you know, a response to Big Eagles. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, sir. Right. I'm out. Peace out. Later, Bye. Ninja. Ninja Ninja. Oh, there he goes. He ninja. He always does it himself. Will take mm. care. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh there's been a lot of downtime between doing stuff for Black Flag as Dan's healing up and getting his strength and getting his bearings to lay out well, he is laying out the book. Yeah. Um in that downtime I've been on Shea Show, I've been talking to other writers, I've been formulating my book that maybe we'll do next year maybe the year after that i don't know whatever whenever we get the core incredible comic stuff done but i I managed to pitch it to guys i admire like old frankie of through the woods and um phil and people seem to like it so i think i'm gonna i'm I'm gonna continue with it excellent Um, that is excellent And and there's an incredible uh talent pool to take a look at as well uh you know yeah i mean it's it'll be a bit I don't know like I have a tendency to get a little accidentally controversial. Mm. Okay, so we'll see means. we'll see if it gets published. Okay, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> hey, there's other words for that too. <laughs> yeah. I talk a, I talk a lot of shit, so nah. you know it comes down. Yeah. You, you and I have had long conversations. I've never, like, uh, uh, none of it ever doesn't make sense. Let's just put it that way. It's all well-rounded and, and no, I, rooted yeah. in stuff. What's up, Mr. John? Oh, not now. He's agreeing with you. Yeah. yeah. He's a very I, well-learned man. Yeah, you just, oh, yeah. just have to listen. But the problem is, you know, you know what the problem with you sons of bitches is? Is that you stream at night and, like... <laughs> To me, and I know this is like showing Dracula the cross to people like Shay and uh, and Luke. Like, to me, paradise is infinite morning. Mm. So, like, <laughs> five in the morning to like ten to me is magic time. Yeah, so that's when I'm like on point. And like, by the time you bastards are like, you know, <laughs> I'm streaming and I'm going on Shay's show, they're all hopped up on stimulants, and I'm like winding down. So they're like, Woo! and I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. When you're waking up, I'm going to bed. So yeah, like, yeah. like you, you see, like hit, like Shay's, like you know, drinking, you know, you know, she's got like an IV drip of like Monster or whatever she's doing. And, and my <laughs> my kids are up. That's when my kids wake up. So I have to get up. Like I love, I do. I too love that those times. But yeah, dude, so like five to ten in the mor- ten in the morning is like golden time mm-hmm. for creativity for me. Yeah. That's when like, like the stuff gets done. My good time, like when I did the grave, was uh, four. Well, it was beto- before I went to work. It was four thirty in the morning until seven thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get up, you so drive because there was nobody doing nothing. Well, the only time I'm up then is if I'm up all night. <laughs> yeah, you're already, you haven't even slept yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get up, you work out, you get the blood pumping through your system. You sit down, you do what you got to do. You're kind of hopped up, and then it's like noon. That's late. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's that's why I'm trying to say like when right, when Dan's like, "Hey, Will," and I'm like, uh, "I'm already like shutting Mate. down the PC, Mate. the PC noise." Yeah. You're a bro. You're a bit up. Not now, dude. Yeah. I'd be up till I wouldn't sleep if I drank it right now. Well, then back back it up a few hours till yeah. one, an hour and then I'll take some. I'll, I'll take some of the the grill of mine. Oh yeah, grill of mine. Rush. Rush. You, know, you, you like the rush. You like the stimulant mm-hmm. one. I like the smooth. Mm-hmm. One. I got some rush somewhere around here. I got a big bag of it somewhere. I have to. I take, it's the thing. It's like glasses. You know how you need glasses. Yeah. To find your glasses. They're always up there. Yeah, it's like I need that mind rush to remember where I put the mind rush. You know, so it's fucked up. Now for the art contest. So the contest, have, talent search. Do they? No, I mean for the the, the oh, uh, sketchtober. Mm. Uh, is it is it archetypes or specific things? I was just putting out a word. I it could be a word. Jason knows. Okay. Okay. It could be a word. Any yeah. word. Okay, so if, if we just I like it, it I can do it. If yeah, if you put out like uh, dung, the word dung. If someone put out the word dung, I, I would probably pick it uh, <laughs> because I, I, I can think of plenty of things to draw uh, of dung, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the ones I think that are very funny, um, there was one uh, by, uh, by somebody today I thought was great, uh, but I probably won't do it is uh, if, if you have a character – uh, and you have a crowd fun, and you tell me to draw your character. I will not draw your character. Um, uh, that's just—it's clever, that's though. It's very clever, and, and fucking big love for trying. Uh, I love it, uh, but yeah, I'm not doing that. Like that's at conventions when they're like, "Oh, can I get a di- can I get a discount if you draw my character?" I'm like, "No, nah, that shit's harder. I've never fucking drawn this guy before. I don't know who he is, and." I don't need you turning that shit into a pinup or a, a cover, you know. What about the you get paid? Well, and yeah. uh, big dumb dog, yeah, you're right. It is a shout out to Cerovich, and I will say this to Frega because you have a tub of that stuff, the uh, Gorilla Mode. Because mm-hmm. I've been lifting a lot, and man, dude, that stuff is like seriously borderline steroids. Yeah, like, I can I, see it, bro. You're like, no, oh, seriously. Shit. When I'm del- like, I've I've probably doubled in size in seven weeks to yeah. taking that stuff. It is nuts. How how you could just blow past your max, you know, like of, of the, and go real heavy every time. Yeah. And when you're done, you just look like the fucking Hulk. Like you just got shot with 50, 50 caliber. I don't shot. think I'd look like the king, <laughs> the kingpin or the blob. But <laughs> it, it just it, there's so much blood pumping through you. Look like you just got shot at as the Hulk, and you're pissed off, and you're growing, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's it's, it's cool. Yeah. It's good stuff. Try it when you start lifting again. I will. I Take will. an hour before you lift, and you'll see. Like you, you're like shit. I can keep putting. It's like Bruce Willis in Unbreakable. It's like keep putting some shit on the bar and see how much I can lift. Yeah, I feel that way. I feel that way when I drink. You like, keep, keep going with that weight. Keep pouring more whiskey in that glass, and we'll see how. Uh, that's how I roll, and that's why I need to take a fucking uh, break. All right, well, I'm uh, gonna nudge you out. Uh, and then we, we're going to be doing this uh, all weekend. But you and I need to talk about point five this weekend, either yes, tomorrow we or Sunday. Um, good seeing you. Love you, brother. We'll Peace talk to you. Later. All right. Thank you, Will. Uh, right, Jason, what's going on? Uh, not much. Uh, go out in uh, the Indiegogo universe. Go back absolute now with the sketch cover and trading card tier. Uh, there's only 50 of those available, 48 of those available. Two people, two of them are gone already. Uh, so get on those while you can. Uh, I'm on topic list with Death Metal Hero. It'll be on Unhinged Entertainment on YouTube this week, uh, Monday or Tuesday, all depending what we decide. Awesome. That's about it. Excellent. You guys right. definitely go check and, out. And that. Christopher John's usually on there too. So Excellent. Excellent. Good folk. All right. Um, nudging you out. Oh, 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 here I'll touch the little. When the big hand touches My tiny the hand. You know, when the big hand touches the little hand, this is the time when Michael Jackson goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> See you, man. <laughs> what's up, Mr. John? How are you, man? Oh, Mr. Frigga. Uh, what, what, what strain are you chilling with tonight? Oh, uh, well, I had some uh, indica oil. Oil? Shit, man. I'm a, flower yeah, dro- I'm a flower dude right now. Yeah, I kind of mix it all into both. 
mind, yeah. body, and soul. <laughs> yeah, I, it <laughs> oil, is, oil is real hard to find out this way, but you know yeah. it is what it is. But dude, thank you very much for uh, sending over that that awesome bunny picture. Uh, um, people yeah. got to know. I we were just talking about you. I think you were either driving or or something, but. Um, uh, we we've discovered you through uh the internet right and uh and get to see your talent uh i think you're going to be doing some pretty awesome shit uh you've got a, a, a style that's unique to itself i say uh my advice right now is to start writing stories and putting them together uh and start doing sequentials because you got a, a great style and then your your anonymous colorist person if they were coloring all your work, you guys would be hitting grand slams out the the ballpark on Indiegogo. Think so? I think so. I think you just got to do it. I have a little problems writing. I'm a, kind of a blank artist. You well, ever heard of one? Yeah, <laughs> but you have that. Here's the thing, dude. You have that character, right? For example, mm -hmm. the you go, hey, this is how I write with Will, right? I I have concepts. And I have things I want to have happen. I'm not going to give the ABCs of what's happening in Black Flag because it's top secret right now. But like, for example, I could I'd be more like a, a, a Stan Lee type in that I got this guy. He's bit by a radioactive spider and, you know, he's normal and he goes in this. And like I, I, I have a way of like breaking the story down in a linear form. And then a writer will come in and, and help uh, embolden that stuff. So if you're, that's how I am. But if you're uh, even even more sort of chill in that aspect, then you just go, hey, uh, this guy kills fucking ninjas or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. The ninja killer, write yeah. me a cool ninja killer story. Then just okay. fucking do it. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> well, I saw a couple of people say Scud. I was like, damn it, that's what I didn't want to hear. <laughs> you know. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, dude, Scud. Scud because he has the face and the big eyes, but like as long mm -hmm. as you stay away from that yellow color, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, I have my own scheme, and I yeah. have uh, the anonymous is working on like a little image so it can help me visualize it more. You know what I mean? Yeah, the anonymous. I like that. They, that's how they should sa sign everything. The anonymous. <laughs> yeah. I, he's that's really great. good, and I don't. Uh, I he's don't incredible. Why. He's he incredible. Is. Yeah, I guess he's on the other side of the pond or something. I yeah, know. I know how that goes. People, people yeah. get scared, man. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thanks for coming through, dude. I'm gonna be That's shutting this down. Uh, do you got yeah, anything? Any, anything you got? Uh, you want to say for a minute? No, I don't think Are I can take up a minute. No. Nah. All right, man. Uh, well, thanks. Just... Thank you for coming through. Thanks for uh, having me. Man. No problem, man. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have me some uh, Afghan glue and go to sleep. Right on. I'm gonna I'm gonna join you. I have flowers in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so. I like that. All right, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you the, the nudge. And All then right. thank you very much, Mr. John. Uh as always, uh I wanna thank you guys for being here. I am on purpose gonna chew up uh let's see, two minutes and thirty seconds, and I'll tell you why. Two minutes and thirty seconds means this is a 420 stream. Uh, you know, so thank you guys again for joining me. Today's word was samurai. Here's our samurai. You got to see him from beginning to end. Uh, tomorrow, we don't know what I'm drawing. I don't know what I'm drawing. So what I want you guys to do is copy that phrase that is in the description. Fill in the blank in the parentheses of what you'd like to see me draw. If you get picked... Uh, your topic gets picked. I draw your suggestion on the air and you get the original uh, free of charge. I send it to you and you enjoy it. And, and it's my way of thanking you for participating in this show. Definitely, uh, definitely draw along, share your art. Uh, that's what this is all about. Uh, this is all about being and doing your best. Uh, I have ebbs and flows. I myself, uh, you know, go through different things. There's the, the physical best, there's mental best, there's spiritual best. Uh, and a lot of the time, uh, they're running together and they're, they're, they're doing great. Uh, and then there's other times where I let shit slide, right? Like if I, if I go, fuck it, I'm going to drink. 
uh, then I get tired and I get, you know, fucks with my spiritual. So uh, that's why I take breaks like this break I'm taking. Uh, so I, I recommend you guys, if there's any sort of things in your life that you feel like you can uh, give it a little jump boost, give it a try. Give it a shot. Um, see if it works out for you. Uh, the main thing is, is that you are everything you believe you are. So go and uh, know that you when you are and do your best, uh, you are the best. And that's that's the thing I want you to take away from my show is that uh, as man thinketh, therefore he is. So think good thoughts and and uh, be fucking awesome. Uh, that's what I think you should do. And uh, what does it say? Support your break, man. Lost a lot of friends to alcohol. That's right. I appreciate that, man. Uh, anyhow, uh, we are doing a countdown for the last few seconds of the show. And that's a five, four, three. I'm out. Thanks.